Now we have volume. Okay, skill building at its best, people. We did it again. Why? I think it's because I'm tired. Now we have volume. Okay, <laughs> skill building at its best, people. <laughs> Quiet woman. Okay, so I always ask Spirit, what the heck's going on here? And I do. And I know. And it's good. And it's great. See, this is the thing. You can have one thing happen and after another. How do you handle it? How do you lead with your identity? How do you lead with your life? Are you in charge of your life? Are you in charge of that response? When you so-called F up, how do you treat yourself? Was it really something that you intentionally wanted to do? Or you weren't mindful enough that it happened? the way that it was supposed to, or you disappointed others, we have to change those, these mindsets. Who has the right plan? Okay, you can have protocols, you can do certain things. And sometimes they don't go according to plan. Who's gonna take the heat for that? Who's going to take and get abused for that? But is that really how we are going to be in this new error, especially towards ourself? Or when we talk to people, can we see if what we look at is a mistake or it's failure or it's wrong? How about if we take the connotations of bad stuff off it? How about we start to learn about feedback? Oh, and I will tell you, people in my family like, oh, my, they hated when I used that feedback. Call it what it is. And I said, hmm, well, in spirituality, when you are learning to be both positive and negative, when you're learning to be that third option, you are learning to be something greater. Something greater. <clears throat> if this mistake doesn't make you greater, then you're doing it differently. You need to do and say, spirit, okay. You know, it could have been this list, but it failed, 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 failed. No, 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 no. Listen to that type of thinking. Hmm. Forgot to turn the volume on. Some people say, well, that's just stupid. Duh. We're looking at changing behaviors and attitudes. How do we show up? I mean, I've only, I, I woke up at 3 a.m. and couldn't fall asleep until after seven. I'm like, what the heck? I was happy. As if, usually I'd lay there and it'd be negative thinking or that would drive me crazy. But this time it's like, I think I'm downloading. I'm, I'm happy. I'm learning. I'm growing. I didn't, in that state, get pissed at myself. In that state, I didn't go, oh my God, I've only got one, two, three, four. Oh my, oh my God, I've got less. Hours. Okay, I can go. That to me, I learned a long time ago was that I'm disconnected from spirit. And that used to be a way we used to communicate and teach other people to communicate. And this is what we do. But the more that I'm stay aligned with my access, um, being in, in alignment, the more I'm, hmm, I stopped clock watching. I stopped the, the self abuse bashing. Uh, I stopped comparing my somebody else's notes and go, oh my God, I should have done it this way. Now, yes, you can have certain standards, but you don't have to set them so high you can't reach them. But we have got to stop the way we used to do things, which was the way we abused ourselves in such a manner that we couldn't allow ourselves to grow. We, we stopped evolution. That's not why we're here. At least that's not what I think we're here for. We are supposed to start remembering how to evolve, how to release, how to have closure, how to let it go. The polar bear knew. The, the, the domestic animals, well, they may have forgotten. But a lot of the animals that were in the wild already knew, already knew. What did they know? Their built-in survival instinct of la 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 <gasps> lurch boom I'm getting, ah, okay ah, done safe ah, and your body released it and you're like okay back to grazing la 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 <coughs> over time we've kind of 
stop that evolution with our thinking and feeling. We kind of, you know, it's okay to progress, but we moved into the thing where you have to reduce, 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 reduce. Again, we reduced the way we control emotions, uh, heal, communicate, um, the way the way we you know did things. But we certainly did externally consume, 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 consume. We don't even need that external information most of the time, as in form of. I'm in pain. I'm going to go shopping. No. <laughs> Granted, going shopping can be fun as if, but at the same time, eating out. Oh yeah, that I almost wrote it in part of our wedding vows. My dear Alan, once a week, we need to go eat out because that's what I need. But I didn't and darn it. <laughs> um, but it's, it, it's in all of these things, I, 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 I put blinders on when I go shopping because it isn't because I want to save money or, oh, no, I go because the energy flow that's in there is out there is like, buy me, buy me, buy me. I'm like, yeah, I'm much stronger than that. I don't need to buy you. Well, you want me, you want me, you want me. And it's like, no, I don't. Once I started to put the energy back in my body where it belongs, I made some good discoveries that I don't have to follow. The, uh, let's see, the, the store's consciousness, when you go to the store, it's all about sell, 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 buy, buy, buy. Even when I was living in Michigan, in the United States, the president had said many, 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 many years ago that in order to recover, we have to make it a consumerism. Bye, bye, bye. Do this, 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 this. And, and that's how we survive. And it's like, what I began to notice is that the more we bought, we still had the same amount of money at the end of the week. Nothing. And yet, we had things. I said, something's wrong here. What's the relationship issue here? I wanted something, but I didn't know how to get in. And I started to trust spirit and spirit provided some money to be able to go to down to Detroit and to take classes three days a week, every week for eight months. For a person that doesn't make money, somehow I kind of just didn't know where the money came from. All right with me. No, not stupidity, don't die. You have to understand when you start diving into this flow. Now, what was funny is that one time we got $10,000, actually a couple times, and I would always begin to hear the blueprint of people talking. And he would lead with, well, I only have $3 at the end of the week in my bank account anyway, or in my wallet anyway. And I started to really notice attitude, attitude and personality. I'm like, huh, well, that's odd as. And I said, hmm. And sure enough, I begin to notice. And it, one thing about observation in the quantum field is what you see is really you start to get proof no matter if you're negative or positive. And lo and behold, I had forgot about it. And he was right. He had spent that 10,000 like that by the end of the week. There was only three dollars in his wallet and in the bank account. I said, "How is that so?" And when you really dive in, you can account for it. But when I started to really dive in about where did the money come from to go to Detroit, it disappeared. Well, that's odd. So there's a little trust and faith going on. A little bit of being open instead of reduction, and it's like. Energy, money is energy. Energy is this exchange that we do. And <clears throat> how do you lead with your life <clears throat> to your bank account? Because I'm going to tell you, 
for the amount, the amount of money that we made was almost nothing. But I'm like, how did we get things and how, you know, and then I started to watch this reduction in ratio and I was like, hmm. and it was very interesting about mindsets and things. So let's go to the next area. A lot of you want to become healers, whether for yourself or if you wanted to go into business like I do. And it takes time and effort to get there. But one of the things I noticed, one of the things that I noticed is that you, you have to be in your authentic self. If you really want to change, get that change in yourself, to get that results that you're looking for, whether it's yourself, your clients. So what does this mean? And as I began to start the pilot classes and things like this, I began to notice a pattern. And it helped me take those moments where it should be perfect already. But no, I didn't hold that. I see it whole. I see it perfect. But when it screws up, do you need to lead with old patterns of nastiness, of old patterns of, do you ever see that movie Click? Oh, great movie if you haven't. So he gets this universal remote and he starts to fast forward through colds, through fights and through this and through that. And the neck, oh, work, Ooh, through that. Oh, I, there's no way I'm going to go all this time without getting the promotion I want. Fast forward to that. His life went by. And we are always on auto, autopilot most of the time until you wake up. And I sat here and I want to make sure that when you pay to take those classes, that you have to begin at the level to where I need you to be to get into the alignment of this energy that will just teach you how to become, which is you and the authentic higher consciousness of you. And that means you have to notice, how do you lead? Who are you? What's in charge? Hi, my name is Brenda Jean Power and I was molested. Do you need to know that? Do I need to wear that as a label? But see, what if it's still in my mind and I, I can't stop it? Yeah, chances are I'll lead. What if I'm so good at denigrating myself that as soon as I screw up, I start yelling and screaming at myself? These are habits, conditionings. The thinking that's the only way you're supposed to treat yourself. I did. Until I started to heal those things that were in my face. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that this is what I'm leading with. I didn't like the fact that my face, my resting bitch face says, fuck off. Leave me alone. I'm pissed off. Don't mess with me. Resenting. You know, and why do we do it? Because the environment of the people that we live with, grow with, keep touching that nerve. Poke, poke, poke. So as you grow up and all of a sudden you're like, as soon as somebody hits that nerve where you feel less than, and if you're not mature enough, like from zero to seven, you're not mentally mature enough, you're going to feel it hurt. You're going to feel the energy that comes off like shards and butcher knives with the intention of shame. Oh, I'm so disappointed in you. I mean, if your mother's, uh, my mother's eyes, I love her, but her looks could kill. So when she would Oh, God, my mother was disappointed in me. I know how to behave now. Oh, oh. <laughs> retreat. Um, I swear when my sister saw my mother's eyes, like, ooh, challenge on, challenge is on. 
And I would stand back and I'd like, oh, hell, I am not acting like that. Okay, so we put all these knots in our world. I'm going to teach you all these things. Because you're becoming a spiritual human. We're not getting rid of the humanism and we're not destroying or killing off the ego for it is a lens and it can actually be your friend. Because you're in charge, you don't have to believe all the bullshit you tell yourself. What do you lead with? You lead with your fears, so you have to go, <gasps> you know? And I, I, was, I was telling people, I think I need to make pictures of facial expressions so that you can really begin to understand. And then, and then I thought about it, I thought, oh, that's a great idea. And then I thought, yeah, that's what therapists have done a long time ago. It, do you feel like this today? Do you feel like this one today? I even wrote it in my thing. I even drew a squiggly face a, a boy, but a squiggly face person where they showed all the emotions from happy to sad. I've already done this. But it is in the facial expressions, like people will can see when, when, when things are off in a body or you see a micro of, of a nerve or a muscle twitch and that can send signals, even if you don't show it, it's in the energy you send and you lead with. Why is this important? Because some of you will go, well, why did they treat me like that? Do you know what energy your body has done over time that led, that sends out, that attracts in? Yes, I'm gonna teach you about the attraction factor. I'm gonna teach you about how your energy broadcast. Let's go further. Quantum law of attraction. You need to begin to notice where you place your energy, your life force, you only get 100%. And is it, to the type of life you want? Is it stuck in old memories? What's it doing? Teach you a few things like rumination. When you are mulling it over, uh, silent brooding, and you are separate from your connected self. Meaning that if you're sitting here going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you can, feel the amount of energy that you're doing and you're like, oh, I gotta run from, or I gotta fight, I gotta fight, I gotta fight, I gotta hide, I gotta hide, I gotta hide. You can see your stress energy and you can see these stages, like the five stages of grief. And you can begin to notice that when you're not giving your body permission to work with you as a whole, and if you're not using a healing tool, you're going to lay tracks. And in ego mindset, when you are just being, again, no healing tools, you're going to be laying tracks. Those 41 thoughts per minute are fine. You don't really lay tracks. You'll sit there in contemplation and you will begin to draw in energies from the whole quantum field that can help you design your life. That feels right, no, I don't. Half of you don't even know, well, if I like it or not, you don't, you're afraid to choose or you don't know because the gallbladder meridian is not really balanced or your small intestine meridian is not really balanced. Both of those are in charge of discernment and judgment. And if those energies are off, you are going to have a big ass issue in your life. And then if you are more your ego, you're going to be pointing and be in pain. I want you out of that. And those people that are new, hang in there. You're going to get your two minutes, not a one minute. You're going to, you're going to get a two minute because I can see some people that are new. I want you to understand like when I'm stressed, and I have an incident, ah, it doesn't mean that you're going to, oh, life is so good. I don't even create incidences. You'll understand why your soul is creating this. 
I'm a, I'm a metaphysician, but I'm a soul coach. Where did I start off? I started off as an energy healer. Where am I going to start you off at? I haven't quite. I just have a feeling you're going to be called spiritual investigators with tools. But, but what you're doing is you're healing the soul. And I'm going to tell you just this alone, this healing tool alone, touching this little point here, touching these points here, not only are you tapping into the neural vasculars, which is the blood flow that flows through the frontal lobe, which also flows through where your depression sits in the Nicholas accumbent. But when the blood flows through, it goes from like zero up to 10. When you are in high beta, which is, hey, everything's great. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. High beta, your beta brain waves kick in. And if you are disconnecting from spirit and not know it, you're going to be laying some tracks because you're going to fire and wire and think and think and feel and feel and think, think and feel and think, think, delete, store, generalize, da, 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 reduction, 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 down to, oh, I have an answer. That's what you call ego resolution. It's just, but it doesn't really do anything. There is no evolution like the polar bear releases and has closure and then goes on with its life. No, now we've created an attraction, which means oh, <laughs> we got to start pulling it in. We got to keep having this shit happen over and over. Same shit, different day. Why not? We can change that. You can change that. We have to learn how to release. We have to learn to have closure. We have to, I mean, most people will run around back in the old era as this. Oh, I got this pain. I've got to hold on to it because I don't want you to ever do this to me again. And they're not talking about just the one person. They're talking about everybody. But at the same time, that's what we call protection. And that's our aura. And no. We're holding on to it because we're afraid that we're going to get pushed off into the abyss. But we're going to make sure we don't forget because we are like, I'm going to be alert on alarm. We didn't evolve. You can take the wisdom from that and let the pain go, but we don't, don't remember that. Because once you do that, you stopped attracting that shit in because you're beginning to grow and learn. And it's not that you forgot and forget, you know, you're going to forgive and you create a healthy boundary. You have the strength now and skill build that says, nope. But you don't have to walk around with this protection of your heart. Damn, damn. We call them heart walls. We call them other things, but damn. And when you're really serious about your issue, you will actually be your consciousness tethering to your heart. You won't even enter your heart. You're like, mm, and then your heart has a guard and a protection shield. And you're like, mm, you're not getting any closer. I've shut down. I've had enough. When you lead with that, then your life is going to become this loop, the Ferris wheel, or a revolving door. So revolving is not resolving. We don't want to repeat. Ooh, good one. Heart equals inception. But yeah, the movie was great. We have all these protective things around us. We do. Now, here's the thing. You want to become a spiritual human. You got to do be done separating, dividing. We got to get back to love and wisdom. We have to get back to that. We have to get to the marriage of love and wisdom. By all rights, if I did just the ego thing, I would have clock watched. I would have told myself how many hours and how miserable I was going to be. Oh, my body's going to be this way, blah, 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 blah. Instead, I didn't. I don't have to do that. I quit that clock watching. And I remember, and it was just before I was pregnant. So you're talking over 20 some years ago. Yeah, 20 some years ago. And it's the best thing I did. You don't understand what you lead with. You have got to look at your pains. I don't do sour graping anymore. I don't hold on to the pain so I can see more betrayal. 
a lot of people will say, well, how can you be friends with that person? It's called done and dusted. Some people you just know, boundary, done. Some people you know, like what I couldn't understand is like a family. I never fought with my family. Not really at all. And I'd watch people fight their families and then they'd come back together and love each other. When I decided to be me and stand up, because I would look at all these beautiful people, especially the people in the gay community, those people that they were joyous, they wanted to be themselves. And as they were so brave of saying, I'm going to be me, I'm like, I'm the chicken shit in the corner. You're my hero. You're my hero. Stand up, Brenda, rise. You don't have to fight, just stand up and say, hey, let me introduce myself. <laughs> I'm Brenda and I believe in spirituality. I don't really think negative. Um, I think joyful. I'm not faking it. I just know that I don't need to be in misery. I don't want that depression. I don't, I don't need it. I don't need to fit in by copying your emotions and your behavior. I don't need to put up these walls to keep you out. I'm, I'm, I want to, and I, I'll tell you, like one of my family members was like, I had this uh, quote by Gandhi. Um, you want to be, be the change. Oh, how does that go? I know one of you knows what I'm talking about. Be the change that you seek in the world or something like that. And I had my family member go, what the hell is that? And I said, oh, it's a beautiful quote. It helps me. And I didn't get to finish. Well, that's just stupid. Yeah, I got to heal that word out. But it was, well, I says, well, I put it there so that it would inspire me and maybe my kids could be inspired too. Oh, that's just going to brainwash them into hell. And I'm like, and then I started to notice one was, this is when the energy started to really come in. I could see the cords, but I could also see how the brain was firing only one side at a time or how this was working. And it's like, I had to learn to respect because that's what was missing. Well, if you want respect, you got to demand respects. And I'm thinking, I am going to respect and I'm going to respect me first and then I'll respect you. And I am going to learn to put boundaries up. So when it comes to family, I couldn't understand why all of a sudden it's like one fight or I stood up. It wasn't even a fight. I just stood up and be me. And they were so mad at the fact that I was me. Fuck you. I'm, and no longer. I was... I was now the enemy. I betrayed them. How dare you lead this clan? And I'm like, when did this become a clan? I never got to tell anything about it because every time I tried to say it, you guys. <laughs> but they would do it like this. Or I would talk and they would go. Yeah, did you hear about the star? I'm like, I couldn't understand what's happening. And I said, no, I mean, you should have seen me stand up to my pasture. I realized I can love you and I can still be me. I can love you and respect the fact that we're different. I don't have to go into hating myself because I have to worry about what you think or what you say is true. When you start to break those, those those control mechanisms that, that happen to be part of how the energy of curse to be put to sleep sets you in that motion. You can release it, but you have to first participate with your innate. You have to work with yourself. See, by doing this, and I'm touching this and touching, did you know there's a gall layer point here too? So it can, it, that's in charge of your control of, um, decisions and judgments and things but by doing this the blood comes back up so 80 percent of the blood starts to leave and goes oh my butt please i can't show you any of that but god damn i want to run right now I, oh, no. oh can you believe they were thinking this oh, yeah. oh god i hate that mm. land tracks or you can do this i'm oh my god i'm on the scale from zero to ten i can't believe this so you sit in your hells with the tool instead of sitting in your hells and laying tracks so I'm like, oh my God, but scale from zero to 10. So I have to bring a little bit of intention, which is I need to measure it. How much is it owning me? What is the pain? Oh my God. I don't have to do reduction where I'm like, okay, I got to connect this dot with this dot. No, I'm the hero in my story now. No, 
oh my god oh my god you know what will happen is you start to pay attention to the knowing the intuition knowing by using your actual higher conscious knowing and you go oh my god i just gave my power away to the fact that they said i was stupid and it was a button and they were just flipping their lips was it even true? But oh my God, the way it felt, yes, it was true. But is it true? Who are they? Did they really, am I having an issue with them? No. It's when my mama rejected me and told me I was stupid. But And then you realize that sometimes you don't have enough information and she just calls everybody stupid too. You start to mature a little bit. But how? Because as you're sitting in your hell, as the blood comes back up to that forebrain, it starts and what's happening is that your body, your innate wisdom is healing. It's taking the chemical peptides, tremo of emotions is calming it down. And your thoughts, 80 miles per hour, I swear to God, you know, starts to come down from you know 80 thoughts uh, per second or per minute to 41 thoughts back down from beta wave to beta. And you literally begin to notice with your higher consciousness about your, your ego's intuition of how it knows or laid tracks before. Shit, I only know this because it, it was, I, it's familiar. I need to go get that picture out in the sensory system. I need to get them out. I don't need it there anymore. So you're changed the way you talk. You heal the way you've never healed before. You have a chance. So I look at all these people and I'm thinking, you want to be healers? I need you to find your authentic self. And I need you to start living and breathing your real self so you can become a spiritual human. Because right now we're led and owned by our emotions. We're prisoners of that. And it's just so easy to drift into that flow of energy and be lost or get into the habit because it's so easy. And if you're not sure, Try to stop eating chocolate or whatever addiction you may have. That effort owns you because it's like, Lelgen. what are you talking about? <laughs> Your body, because you fire and wired it, lights and tracks. It's in the body. The body's saying, oh, goodness, look at our circadian rhythm says it's two o'clock in the afternoon and you have to bitch about something because we're addicted to that chemical peptide. What can we make her do? Why is she cooking? She needs to be over there yelling at her kids. Or why is she doing that? She can't be singing happy shit. Bring up, the, hey, bring up that memory of when her boyfriend did this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And the body, it's not that it's evil. You programmed it that way. So it's like, until you heal up all of these things that your program's looking for, hey, cue this, cue that. If you heal the cues, and you take the brain and put new information in, not use your imagination and, you know, to cover up the stench, you know, it's like uh, putting perfume on a pig or lipstick on a pig. I don't know how that story goes. I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Because when you take the energies off those and you close them, close them, and you put new information in, you, you, you start to mature your soul on the the, the ingredients, the recipe to life, the physical, the mental, the emotional, and spiritual aspects, they begin to literally begin to mature because love and wisdom begins to energize it. You don't have to live in borrowed memories. You don't have to borrow all the shit from other people. You start to build your code by breaking down the old code. And then you don't have to take in all other people's codes that were unhealthy. You get to download your higher conscious codes. You get to already tap into the answers that are inside that part of your brain. And then you begin to remember, and that's the knowing. <gasps> oh, the knowing. Half the shit spirit gives me is like, now I know. And I just wait for the proof because somebody's been there before me and boom, spirit will just introduce it in such a unique way. And I'm like, yeah, thank you, spirit. That's awesome. Because I'm on the right track. You're going to learn all these things. 
And I'm not, I don't want you to graduate until you feel it, until you start to really tap in. But I know people that are good, intuitive people, but go out and go, oh, I'm just disappointed in you. I hate you. Ah! And they're led by the emotions because the buttons are so, you know, and one person can be very, have little, and some people can have a thousand more. And it's like, I just want to go out and hug you all and put all the pieces back together. I want to give you the tools so that you can, Stop doing that old era of time. You're beautiful. You're worth it. You have a voice. Let's get and heal the pain so you can get your wisdom so you can return to love so that you can start. This is an airy fairy shit, people. When you come to me, I know that I potentially am losing a customer because you can go heal your own shit. Why would anybody do that in the world where you're supposed to make money? Because I want you to empower yourself so we can get out of this shithole of where we have to feel like this is hell. I want you to heal. I want you to be empowered. I want you to, to, to infect the other person and make them happy. No, it's not your job. But because of your joy, you're helping another person going, wait a minute, I want what she's having. And then you, they will begin to empower themselves because you're learning how to what? The thing that we forgot and a part of the evolution is self-regulation, which is self-control, self-healing, self-soothing. We forgot how to self-soothe and self-regulate. All we know is how to, I want that particular outcome. And I'm going to kick your ass until I get it. I'm going to change your behavior before you change my, I'm going to, I'm going to, oh. And then what happens? We lose the empathy. We lose the love. All for me. You're ready. You're ready. You are so ready. I want you to go out and start helping other people because the more people we get on this matrix, not about the fact that, yeah, bring me customers. That's not what this is about. I want you to start finding you. I want you to start noticing you're beautiful. I want you to notice whether, what energy are you sending out? What are your intentions? I saw this beautiful person they said, be honest, tell us what you think. They used their voice. And then the chain of event was as they all were kicking her ass. And I thought, well, why did you ask if you're just going to be mean? You're not going to take it. And this person was very upfront, not mean, but in, in, how do I communicate and deliver something that I see a piece of the perspective that maybe if you tweak it over here, then some of us that feel this way won't feel this way. I'm not in this to hurt people's feelings. Yes, sometimes the hot seat that, that gets delivered can burn you a new one. But if your ego mindset is there, it will hurt. But if you're in spiritual mindset, knowing that a piece of information, that if it's hurting, your soul is saying, can you heal it now? Can you heal it now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Heal it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when you begin to heal this and you start to get your energy back, then you're going to start attracting healthier people in your space. And you can unhook yourself from those people that want you to be in your pain so they can gain from it. They don't want you to change. If they're asleep, they're not going to want you to change. Don't mess up my reality. You're supposed to show up a certain way all the time. Why are you growing? Oh, that's what I got. Stop growing. Fix your marriage. Go back to sleep. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? So it goes back to the fact that I stood up and I fought. But I only got one chance to fight. You're done and dusted. We don't care. We hate you. Like, okay. It ain't going to hurt me that you hate me. I feel free. I don't have to play this game. I don't have to put myself back to sleep just so you're happy that I showed up the way you want me to. Where I sit, my life is stronger and better than it's ever been before. And every day I wake up happy. It's not faking it. It's not going, oh, I get to have a sliver of happening and something's going to come along and the other shoe's going to drop. No. Spirit says, you graduated. Here's more joy. All right. You begin to begin to work with all of yourself and you know how to work with the quantum field. 
I want you to, to do the same. So be patient a little longer as I keep building this academy because eventually I can see that we'll be accredited academy. Now I can still offer certification under Medicine Woman Solution because I'm carving out a new area of how we are actually learning how to become a spiritual human, how to become a most glorious part of who you originally are. Yes, Jennifer Margaret, she's if you've changed, she has, was with me in the beginning. You know, the beginning, but she was pretty much there. She got to live in my house and see. She was, she's the one that actually had, was a soul that got to witness when all of a sudden this compulsion habit would have happen. And I'm like, what the hell just happened? I can feel, and I was spiritually going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And I did not want to bother her, but I know she saw, she had that look on her face. And I'm like, can you just tell me? And like in one word or so, what just happened? Because I feel like I'm crazy and I'm going back to sleep and I don't understand why my body is doing this compulsion when inside I'm like, don't stand up, don't do that. Not stand up for myself, but it was to obey an order or do something like this. And she said, gaslighting. And my ears just exploded. Poof. What? I've never heard that word. What? Oh my God. And my, my knowing kicked off and says, you know, it's true. <gasps> I'm like, what? And I, and I didn't want ego to put me back to sleep. And so I tried everything I could to write that word out. And I forgot how to hold a pen. I forgot how to spell. I forgot even what the letters looked like. And I kept looking at her to hold on to hope. And she's like, gaslighting, you want me to write? I'm like, no, I need to break this through. I'm going to get it. I'm like, oh, da, 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 da. And I know how to stick with it and stay with that flow. And then it's cracking the egg open. I cracked that egg. I mean, it cracked, but I cracked it open. And now I don't have to fall for it. Once I see it or hear it, I started to install the buttons. You should have seen when all of a sudden when he tried to do every maneuver under the sun and I'm like, you done yet? Because I am. There's no button to push anymore. I removed them. Yay me. Sucks for you, doesn't it? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. I still love you and I always will as a beautiful soul. We're two great people that just don't fit anymore. And I'm okay with that. I used to beat myself up just thinking I had to follow all these rules. Once you're married, you're married for life. Do, 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 do. I'm done. You go have a great life and I will have a great life. So there's so many beautiful things that you can do so many good things that you can do I've been there I've done that and now I'm having and I'm I'm replicating it in my life I've done it many years now and I when you get that epiphany of that one day you wake up and you're like damn when was the last time I was sad like never <laughs> you're like whoa and it's not oh I jinxed myself no 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 you can cancel clear that and heal it out if you feel it oh go heal it that's what those little twangs are for but then people come in my life and it's like spirit goes, go, 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 spirit, go, a spirit, go, spirit, you're like, usually everything is a suggestion, but this was like, oh my God, I'm hitting the knowing. It's time to step in my vocation of my purpose. I don't know what it is, but I know it. And I stepped in with faith. And the next thing you know, spirit's like, here's this, here's this, do this, talk this, do that. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't ego control it. I didn't spiritually control it. I followed the flow of higher consciousness and it will teach you. I have my future selves going, ah, she can hear us now. And I can go back from and be the future self to my little and ah, it's hearing me. And you know, your soul doesn't just have to be on one timeline. Your souls can be do many timelines. So when I'm starting to read, sometimes it's not just this life. It's not just your past life. It's the time lives that you're living at the exact same time. That's called string, string theory. So I look for the variables above your head that pretty much all of your 
selves are trying to figure out and solve in all those timelines. And as we start to get you to heal all of that and you start to get your life force back, sometimes people will make paradoxes. Oh, that's fun too. But you can do it. You can do it. And I'm going to teach you how to read like me. I'm going to teach you how to see like me. I want to teach you to, to heal like me. And I want you to empower others like me. I want you to become you because the higher consciousness is a movement that we finally have got to get connected in these diamonds. I have a diamond class that actually starts to connect you to your discernment, that starts to connect you by helping you to wake up. So excited about this ride. All right, enough emotional stuff. Let's get in here. Anybody new, we give two minutes right off the bat. And then anybody that pays gets to uh, jump the queue. And anybody else that's like, I want a one minute, but I have to go to bed. There's a wait list. All you have to do is message me and I will give you that one minute read. And I will put, we have our, oh, do we have um with us? Hold on. Do we have our time stampers here? People that have just volunteered. Okay, time stampers. If you're here, great. And what happens is that we will time stamp and you name and you'll come back and you're like, oh, there it is. Okay, I can go to 238, whatever it is. Yes, yeah, sometimes these shows can go long, but it's not because it's boring. It's because it's spirit says, oh, we have somebody that wants to hear. I want them to wake up. Can you, can you stay on for five more minutes and give this perspective? And, it's, and, and I'm like, sure, I can do it for you. I'm going to teach you how to change your filing cabinets, hoard out, take the hoarding that you have in there out. And I want you to build this filing cabinet so you can communicate with your higher self. It is incredible. I thought, I swear I saw, someone says, I'm new. Yes, I think I see a Brianna. Okay. Ooh, I think we have others. Ooh, wonderful. Oh, wow, excellent. Okay, so what we'll do is that I... Um, I need my glasses because my screen is so small all of a sudden. There we go. Yes, I seen a Brianna, right? Brianna. All right. So this is, again, what we're doing is we're going to give you information about how you know you know. And you are going to be able to see, oh, shit, yeah, yeah. And you're going to connect the dots. Most people say I don't remember my youth, but here's the thing. You don't actually have to remember youth fully because you keep repeating it in segments. And within these segments, if you can learn how to connect with emotions and you learn how to use a healing tool to do that, you can heal those out and you can start to evolve and recalibrate. Okay. So it's kind of like a butterfly effect, but for the good, because it, it's about getting your life force back so you can create. All right, Miss Brianna. Okay, here we go. Um, the first thing the spirit says is that you're hiding behind. You're hiding behind what? And they said, you're hiding behind habits. And because um, if you keep yourself busy, you won't have to worry. And then, and they says, but then you're also hiding, using worry because you're trying to uh, not feel helplessness. And then they said that um, you don't want to feel helplessness because at uh, one time around seven, they're pointing that out, you hit arrested development. And what it happened was that there was failure. Something didn't come to pass. And I says, is it one of those that she had a, a specific outcome? No, it is what was expected of her and she didn't do it correctly. And therefore she could feel that she became very timid because how the outside was going to react to her. And so she keeps reliving a very vivid part and it feels like a curse. It's like, I can't seem to stop this happening. Why is this always happening to me? And then it goes a little bit further and they said it's in the limbic system that um, is ready to expand its truth. And, but at the same time, it saw how people bully. <gasps> and they did it. I don't think they did it straight out. I, you know, like teasing. I think this was more of um, you felt invalidated. And I said, did it come through love? So this is sometimes where love is used as a weapon. And you felt, oh, I'm invalidated. And you had this, and so you tried to scramble and readjust yourself to the point where all of a sudden it's like, it becomes this karmic debt. And the karmic debt has a lot to do with energy pulls. 
and I'll explain that to you afterwards. But we led you to the point where I'm shutting this down. I can't take this anymore. I can't. No, you can just be. I can't. And so then you started pulling out of your particular part of your life. And spirit says, if you start to be ready, that you can see whether you know somebody is using it as a weapon, or you learn bad habits to do that lesson. There's so many tools. Now I'm changing over my free website or um, to the healing tools. And the healing tools are still free, but it, it's going to be in the academy. But we've got a ton of free healing tools. One I'm going to tell you to do is if you could just begin to do anything I just said, just begin to do this. Okay. You come back again, I'll give you another hope point. Or if you've watched enough times, I want you actually, if you can do this, what I want you to do is you grab your right wrist. Okay, don't make it complicated. Find your thumb where the crick is. One, two, three. And you take the third spot, you put your thumb in the third spot, finger in the palm, more in the fatty part. And this soft, not deep, soft. Place your hand like this and just sit there. Measure. Ah, I can't get. And, and notice you're staring, staring at the situation and you begin to heal it out. What's happening is you stay in your hells and you sit there and it's a 10. Oh my God, you sit there. What will happen is, is that your body, the innate and you are beginning to heal it out and you go back and you're measuring it. How? Because the thoughts will be like, ah, to calming down or the emotions ah, to, to calming down. And you're going to go, oh, I feel better. Stay there until you, what you want to heal is like, oh, I can't feel it anymore. Okay, and what I mean by um, de karmic debt is that when you're off kilter and you give your power away, you're going to start creating the form of debt because you want them, you know, I will, I will give my power away so they'll shut up. I will take the blame so they'll shut up or I will do as they ask so they'll shut up. But what happens that creates a karmic debt for you and them, but it's not your responsibility about them. That's on them. You have to learn how to skill build now and to get yourself to stop repeating certain re reactions and responses. And the only way to do that is you have to get your power back. So all you have that energy of going, oh, I can face this again and no, okay. All right, who else is new? Um, what do we got here? Somebody said, look at your thing. I saw Ram, look on my phone. So we have Miss uh, Jennifer Topple first, and then we have, ooh, uh, Lorraine. Are you new, Lorraine Gaskin? Are you new? Because I'll give, are you coming? Um, okay, let me explain. Uh, if you're paying, there's many different ways people pay. Pay to support, pay to beyond, pay to um, however you want to do it. I need to know a little details so I can make sure I honor you appropriately. And um, you probably did share it. These screens are so damn small. And so, um, like, for instance, oh, she's new. Thank you. Um, so, like, I need to know if you would, because if, if you come on, you do not have to use video. You can, but then that becomes the property, you know, anything that here on the show becomes a property of medicine and solution. But we can do it like this, but there's, there's like a 30 second to a, almost a minute feedback, which means chances are you will, um, I won't get to, I'm going to, you're not, we're not going to be able to have that communication properly, but you can have audio. You don't have to have video. I use Zoom um, so that I can connect with you easier. Um, so it's up to you how you want to do it, what you want to do. And are you, with, with that 50, I don't know if you're paying for um, um, whatever I'm asking here or if this, what, I don't know what your intentions are whatever works. Okay. So you want it during the show. Um, okay. Um, so you'll be second Jennifer's first. Okay. So who else is new? So, um, so instead of a one minute read, since you're coming on, well, I, you know what, I'll give you a small taste, let you mull it over and then we'll go into that. And then again, anybody that's new. Oh, Debbie Trotter is new too. Okay. So let me go to Lorraine. All right, Lorraine. Um, wow, there's like space, empty space. Apparently that's where we're look. Let's look at empty space. And within this empty space, what happens? 
Okay, sometimes I, oh, wow, where are you going? I feel like there's a part of you that just goes part somewhere in your, inside of yourself because you don't want to feel policed by people, correcting, turning you in, tattling. Um, I'm looking at around a four-year-old that says people like to um, find me and dump their shit on me and correct me and tell me something like it's wrong. Just a donation on my heart. Oh, you sweet thing. Thank you very much. That was the other thing a lot of people do. So here's the thing. It says, and now he, uh, Lorraine, I want you to get this. Okay, I want you to get this. We're going to give you an extra minute or two. Hold on. All right. Oops, here we go. Do, is it true what I've said so far so you can understand, so I can follow this line? If not, I can re-ask and they'll give me something else. But they're saying you're holding on to something. And this four-year-old says, I'm holding on because the emotions are still vibrating. And I said, well, what is the emotions? Disapproved of. You were disapproved of? No, I disapprove of how they're hurting me. I said, okay, okay. And she says, and, and now I'm looking because you have not only your younger self, you have your older self coming in and they said, there's a cord, you have a cord. You also have a loved four people on the other side um, and you can only have one representative coming at the same time. And they're saying, have, look at her neck, look at her neck. So they're saying in round C5, it's like people were trying to tell you to reject your reality and this is how you're supposed to feel and think. And it's like, as you began to approve of yourself, they're like, no, put that shit away. We know better. So I feel like inside, I feel like I've actually am living in a compartment part of myself and instead of my whole self. And then if this is where it became a habit, it became a habit. And I says, well, what's going on? And they said, they're saying um, the, the pain is, it makes you sit there and I'm watching you rock and it, the word is helplessness. I said, you got to tell me more. Well, it's this overthinking that occurred because somebody was trying to force their will of their belief that you were irrelevant to the conversation or you were irrelevant and that your opinion didn't matter. And it became a compulsion through life because you were holding on to that one moment you couldn't resolve. And there seems to be a cord, and I got to find out what that is real quick. Uh, what, they're referring, what do you mean a cord? A cord to there's something about a cousin involved. And I said, is that actual truth? And they said, well, there's a trait recess, recess trait. So there's a, through the family line, there's a recess trait. And I said, well, well, what do you mean a little bit more, please? They said, well, uh, in the second chakra in the back where it's about um, your will is that guilt was used. And it was used to, um, how do I want to put this, in the feeling center, which is the, um, the third chakra in the front, that said that um, you're supposed to shame yourself. So it's like they kind of gave you orders. Ooh, the father killed himself. Aha, aha, aha. Okay, so when all of this said and done, how does that play into it? And they said, I didn't know how to self-soothe. I didn't know how to self-soothe. And I said, okay, well, what do you want to do? And you're like, I didn't know how to trust either. And I said, okay, I, I knew what aggression was. And I said, okay. And he says, I know what deprived means. Well, what do you want to heal? And then the, the, she, ah, it's like just the OMG. Okay. So they said the very first thing, because there seems to be a very strong picture now we can, there's a healing tool for that. But if you could just start off doing this one thing, which is left wrist first, um, second, see, left wrist first second you put your thumb in the second position you push in deep put the finger in the fatty three behind sit like this and yeah your body's all responding but i don't even remember how to breathe so what i need you to do what i need you to do is i want you to go into a very specific feeling and just whatever allows you to come up don't push it don't push it Allow yourself to go into a certain state of feeling because what will happen, what will happen is that you will look at only what you allow at the time. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is that because she donated, 
because she donated out of love, I'm going to go an extra step further. And I'm going to ask Spirit how many. Spirit says that I'm to not forget myself because it was a donation of love to me. So I'm going to honor part of me, but I'm also then say, can I take part of that? And I said, yes. I mean, I'm going to take and do two pay it forwards from the love and donation that um, Lorraine gave. And that's what I think we're going to do. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, okay. What do you think? What do you think? And a pay it forward is that somebody else is going to get an eight minute here with me. So there's two of us. So if anybody would like, then then kind of like tell me who's in the room. If you feel like that would be good. If not, go get some of your friends that that maybe want to participate in this. And usually we like to um, play the number game, but not just yet. So go get some people. Lorraine, tell me, since you, you're new, what do you think? Um, what kind of information? Um, sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it takes a while to, um, if to what information, it'll click right away or all of a sudden you'll mull over and go later on and go, oh my gosh, that's it, okay? Um, it is important to understand this and um, to be patient with yourself. Wait until you start doing the healing and when you're ready, then certain parts of you may need permission. And you're just gonna have to say, and make sure you tap on both sides. I give myself permission to heal this. Then go to your heart. I give myself permission to heal this. My healer and study metaphysical my whole life. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. So I'm assuming that that makes sense. Well, guess what? It's that next step you need in order for you to take that next big leap to get answers. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be bold. I have had answers. I have relief. This is, I have searched on my life for this as well. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then all of a sudden spirit says, how about do this, 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 and this? And I said, okay. And I'm like, holy shit, this shit works. And then I sat on it for several years by working with it. And, if, and, and then I wanted to really see the results. And then I started to work with, um, teach it. And Jennifer, um, you know, she may have to witness for me. <laughs> um, Okay, so now I'm going to take and I'm going to get, oops, wrong one, Brenda. Again, if you can't wait, you know, and for get your reading for the show, you always can do the wait list. And that's the beauty of this, okay? Okay, and let's see. I love the classes. I miss the, the up close and personal. And this is why now I'm doing line, or, um, the tribal. And so the tribal, um, allows people to um, get more of me <laughs> uh, but it is it's deep it's healing it's all of it okay it really makes a big difference so I'm going to take the link and I'm going to go find Miss Jennifer and um, oops where are we at oh. you just got to be patient with yourself because sometimes we get on waves in our life and I you'll learn all about that. There's a whole glossary that's to this movement. It's very important that you start to love yourself, but you can't do it if the shit's in the way. Okay. Ooh, dies in the house. Ooh, hello, girlfriend. Okay. Um, I saw another person that was new before. Okay. So I didn't see them pop up. Um, if you, De Debbie, I need to know if you're here because if you are, then. I, once I get done with this, I'll give you an, um, an extra minute if Deborah uh, is here because I, um, it's hard to see on this tiny screen. Night, Nancy. Um, <laughs> I don't see it. And hello, hello, hello. We're going to get that mic on. I can, can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in my PJs. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Summer, that we had a heat, oh, man. <laughs> heat index over 100 today. So I'm like, oh, geez, oh, Pete. Yeah, not good. Not good. 
Okay. Hey, you know what? You've been with me. Would you be so kind? And I always put you on the spot anyway. That's just the way our life was always, <laughs> I swear. So uh, there's another person that's taking the hot seat in, in your, you know, on your behalf of you not being in my space, but that's okay. Um, I'm coming back off a wave, so it's fine. It's fine. I know. I love this girl. <laughs> um, and we respect the fact we understand this, um, the way that spiritually consciousness is. So you got your tooth fixed, yes? Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to give a shout out to Brenda because, I mean, I've only known you forever. But like, so those of you who saw the comedy in action called I Was Out of My Mind in Pain, um, <laughs> <laughs> last week, and I healed, I did, I don't know what we did, but we did something. I had the appointment and I had the best hygienist now she had to meet me at the door because of covid and they're at half capacity and all of that but she like i went there it's so it's been two years since i've been in because of covid and um so she she takes a high anxiety patients and she's been there for 15 years and she's like why haven't i met you before i was like i don't know my anxiety's higher i don't know what to tell you like <laughs> so we had this great connection we did um I got a discount, like it was like $30 to get every x-ray so that you could actually see what's going on. I said, that's what I want. I said, literally need to get to the root of the problem. I'm on board. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Like it was amazing. And she said, truth be told, I can tell you've been taking care of your teeth. And I said, I'm sorry. I don't believe I understood you because I've never heard that at a dentist ever, right? And so she goes, and I said, my mom, you know, we got, I got a good toothbrush. I was using the mouth rinse. I was flossing, doing what I could during COVID. I didn't want to go in at all. Um, and she's like, but you can tell that you've been doing that. So it's the one tooth that's the issue. The dentist prescribed medication. He's fully confident that once I get the root canal, yikes, um, that we'll put a crown on it. And he said, you'll have years to come with it. And they were just so matter of fact. They worked with me. They know my anxiety. And so the, I have to go to a different place to get the root canal, but I get to be under nitrous. So that's exciting. So <laughs> I said, please, they're like this, it's this much. I said, I don't even care. Like we're, we're, we're over a thousand dollars. Like we're at a point where like, just add it. You know, you know, like, that, that's the one thing me and you had in common. And so I can tell you, you know what? When you call in spirit, it, it actually becomes easier than you imagine. You won't have to I call took it. My, I took my little stuffy piglet with me. Oh, then, you did take your little, yeah. I did take a stuffy and they were okay. So it was like, yeah, I, yeah, you call in spirit. I healed whatever it was. So if you have a fear of the dentist, doctor, whatever, work with Brenda, heal it out. It's amazing. She didn't even talk to me all night long. I was waiting, thinking, okay, oh. you know, no, she, 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 she just kept to herself. I I, well, cause I was like, you know, cause I said, I left it open for you that if it was too much anxiety that you could have contacted me. And it's like, yeah, all, all day for me and all night for her. So I was like, oh, she's doing actually well. And I could feel that you were like calling on the grid. Thank you, spirit. Help me out. I could feel that. Yeah, you're drawn in on the energy. That's there. That's good. And so I'm just glad to hear all the goodness. Yeah. So, th so that's like, uh, and then I've like lined up all my doctors. And then I went to the osteopath yesterday. I have a new one for like neck and brain, my brain injury stuff taking care of. I had a new osteopath. I'm going to tell you, I had the cutest Ooh. doctor, prettiest green eyes you ever did <laughs> see. He loved my little baby Yoda hand sanitizer. He loved my unicorn shirt. I could do no wrong. I, I told my goddaughter if he could have fit in my pocket, I would have taken him home. Like, <laughs> like you're not supposed to feel that way about a doctor, but out of spirits, like, okay, we're just delivering, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's just when you're in perfect alignment your spirit will just line you up in an amazing way. it really will it okay. really will look at you i know that blush feeling <laughs> feel the like heat over here girl all right so um just so you we wanted can... something from you uh, uh yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah I, I did. um we, when we did classes what it, what was your you know you didn't really know when i remember the first time you came in um you were told what kind it was and all this and that but 
over time, what, what do you think about those? Because this is what we do now on the tribal, because I can't communicate and people with people in, in you know, a one-on-one -on -one and, or I mean, in a group, oh, that's not what I meant, in home. <laughs> so, yeah, I never knew what class was going to be like. And yes, I experienced the hot seat plenty of times. I'm so grateful now being where I am in my life. I'm so grateful that I did it then. Um, but it was like an oxygen mask for life. Uh, it was a way, it was a little retreat each week to come and just connect with spirit, connect with like-minded people. Um, some more like-minded than others, but everybody's on their journey. But like, um, but to watch them grow, that was, you know, we were all growing like just at different stages. So that was cool. Um, and so it was, a, it was like a little refresher in life, like to have a completely different perspective and like, oh, this is hell in daily life and then go to class and like, okay, so I don't have to live in that? Wait a minute. Uh, that's, not, that's not what I've been told by everybody and everything in my life. Um, and then I would get to the point of after some years of classes going and and looking at my life and and I and I would and I would get to that observer and I'm like I'm projecting this and I think I said that the other day and maybe about the hoarders or whatever like WTF I'm projecting this like no hold on stop wait a minute where is it like you know go through the files of your brain like where the heck is this because this is crap like so <laughs> I'm pulling this one out and that's what it is having gone through the classes and just like having the resources and I'll be talking to my I talk to my mom like almost every day because COVID and other things um and, and I'll be like you know Brenda wasn't wrong <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> but like <laughs> because I, I'm actually I'm here because I have a specific question about like the next launch in life um, cause it's a big one. Um, yeah, getting ready to like, <clears throat> because I want to take out the little threads of doubt, like that might yeah. be woven in and that kind of thing, but I know it's possible. And that's like, that's the gift of being in class. Yeah. I've been on a wave, you know, I don't know what I've been doing, but like <laughs> living and following the flow, <laughs> following the flow. So, um, yeah. And so it's, it's knowing, okay, wait, I know, I know I had that foundation once. Wait, I gotta, I gotta find, I gotta go back to breath. Like I, we knew it once. And sometimes the, the, the wave can be short and sometimes they can be super long, but it, what it is, is you're testing. You've been testing yourself and you, you, you'll even forget. And, but then see, there's a turnaround time. So when she would start to have issues, she would heal and have turnaround times and they lasted. And then she got on a wave and it's like, what? Cause she, you know, the biggest part was that I love you dearly. And yes, I had to move. And I know how hard that was for the, for the both of us. Cause I was like, can I take you with me? <laughs> you know, like, can I stick you in my suitcase and take you with me? <laughs> um, but I had to skill build and, and, and get some legs and know that I can do this. Um, which I, you know, and I get it. And yes, every time when people come to class, I would help them see life through the spiritual lens so that they can have that quantum law of attraction. And the voices of the people were very important. So they help people understand not to come and commiserate together. It was, here's an issue, break it down, use a tool, turn it around. And you then get into to the point, I can't remember it was, well, I, I can't remember which Heather it was that came in. She goes, oh my God, she says, I, I don't want to go back out to that matrix. Ah! You know, because they knew that the moment they walk through that door to go home, they have to go back to that matrix. And it was because it was a place that was about peace, about discernment. And I did my best to, for when people would come in with judgment, I would always make sure that they, the energy would make, keep them home. <laughs> but you can come in and we can be in discernment. And, and I always needed a volunteer. So she would always go, okay. <laughs> because everybody else was like, hey, no. Yeah. Hmm. And so she, you always have to have this one good display 
to help people to see and I thank you for all that. You're welcome. You know what's coming up in my Facebook memories? No. <laughs> no, because you're not there. Uh, uh, <laughs> remember, remember my car with the hood issue and how it smacked the wind. Like I had the windshield issue because a tree landed on it. And then I never had a good windshield after that. And then ex-husband like made the hood wonky and then it never latched and then it, it, it flew up and I drove like well I'm still gonna go to class because I'm like two miles away and then I'll deal with it afterwards um you, oh, talk yeah. about back, you can talk about going back into hell in the matrix oh man that when I had to face that when I when the tow truck driver was bringing my car home but anyway so that's what's coming up in my face oh memory. my gosh yes but she's like that's like, not me that's a lifetime. That was a lifetime ago. So. Ah, but you've grown. All right. So let's get into this. And let's talk about it. I appreciate everything. Thank you, everybody, for listening to us reminisce, but also <laughs> thank, thank you. you for the testimony and all this. So here we go. All right. Now, you needed to know what the next leg of your future is. Um, you're holding no. that picture in your head. I have in mind what I where I would like to go. And I'm like, oh, man, that would be such an amazing job I, i've i've researched i've looked at other uh congregations to see and there isn't that much alignment yes i want to be there location wise for a couple of reasons yeah um, you're in the zone though intentionally you're in the zone and the zone is part of that knowing and i'm asking if it's ego intuition knowing or if it's spiritual um knowing and they said it's more spiritual knowing so that means even though you may want to go there for little um ego selfish reasons that's not actually the seed of why you're doing it which is like some people will like i did in my first marriage i just want to get out of the negative household and then i got married and i'm like what did i do we don't realize the intention do you understand so for you you were had the spiritual alignment you're like yes yes i want to do this and, and, I, what and is, I, need, what... I need to i need to love it because yes. to 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 love the people who are going to be there and there's something kind of been put kind of on the back burner because I feel like I need to like fall in love with this group of people and now I'm getting the the pushback of well what if this doesn't work out don't put all your eggs in one basket do you have other congregations lined up do you have you know you have to create a plan and and so I hear all right so this is where you are and I love the fact she can tell you what the kickbacks that her self-talk anything she can even produce people to come up and say it and question her motive because that's why spirit wanted her to understand no it was her spiritual knowing not her ego intuition knowing which is can be the false part what they want her to understand and she did it she said it before I even say it see this is the way the way she knows but now I'm going to tell her how she knows it's called the end game the why and usually when you do anything in business, you want the why. And that's that feeling, that knowing that this is the way it's supposed to be. And watch the Avengers. You like those, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So watch the second to the last one. Dr. Strange is sitting there thinking, and he says the end game. Okay. And he says there's one out of all those thousands of different times. There's one that makes it complete that has the closure, that makes the alignment. And so then you watch the second movie and all of a sudden when um, Iron Man looks over at Dr. Strange and he's like, this is the one. Because you can't mess it up when you look at, you could mess it up when you stare and you talk about it and you change the outcome. So Dr. Strange never talked about it, but he could feel that this was the alignment. He felt that this was the alignment. He was in the why, okay, the why, why do you want it, why? And it's in the feeling. Okay. And so all of a sudden it, it came to fruition. And when you're doing any type of business, it's the why, why do I want people to feel good? Why do I want this to happen? It's not, okay, I'm going to start from scratch, which is what I've been doing is starting from scratch and realize, no, what's the why? I want you all to be healthy. I want you to be empowered. I want you to have joy. I want you to get out of anxiety. I want, and spirit says, now feel the desire of how you know it because you've been there yeah yeah now you haven't gotten to the point where i'm at here which is like when i got here it was like it was like a breath of fresh air better than i could have ever ever created and i thought what the hell and oh, I, I graduated and I, I can feel 
this chapter closing. Like I'm oh. seeing the signs, like, and I'm telling my mom about it. I'm like, other people would be like, yeah, man, that's, and I'm like, but no, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm feeling the, the doors close, relationships end. Hey, this yeah. is beautiful. You know, you don't want to burn bridges or get your ass smacked. You, when your path switch, you have with, you can pull out with grace and ease and you are intentionally becoming in charge of your quantum field. And as you pulled out, which is what you're doing, just like when I did to Detroit and how I was leaving, this is why I had to teach and demonstrate to whoever that was watching that when the path switch hits, you got to start doing it with grace and ease or else the bitch slap is going to come and just knock you to clear to Tuesday, you know, see you next Tuesday if you know what I mean. And, like there's a council <laughs> that I have to go through and there's like a few months and I have to like create and like I have to interview for this job first of all but like <laughs> um but I feel like I'm getting excited about programs that I create. I, I've done the research on the town. I know like what I would be getting into and why I would want to be there. Good. And, and I, so then you could do the could... golden lasso too. Oh yeah. Okay so that means you already got the why okay and I want you to pull it out there, take the golden lasso, wrap around, get all of that, why you know it. And then as you start to sit with your two minute, but this time you're pulling it intentionally. And so you're just gonna start pulling it in as you start to pull it in and just the two minute, I don't know if we've, no, I've never done it before with you guys is that you take the two minutes, turn the timer, whatever it is, you're, you're very quiet and you just sit with nothing. Your intention is that, the why and you this time you're going to pull that why yes and then all of a sudden because you're working with your innate it'll start to pop your energy loss the reason you can't have this because your energy loss goes to and this is that pullback you're talking okay you've already been doing it but you, that's so once you hear that just put the lasso down how do i know this or believe in this um, stay a scale from zero to 10 and then heal it out. What happens is that once you get it down to zero, then you take your lasso and you pick it up again, pick it up where you left off or recast, whatever you choose. And then you get back into the feels, that intention, and you start to pull. Uh, and then you'll start to, like I said, you had several. Those are not just something that you just need to waste. You heard them, write them down. Doesn't mean you write them in stone but you wrote those down. Now you're making a contract that you're gonna break up with these things. You see them and you get to rewrite your contract of life. Okay, it's part Voice, of- Voices of doubt? Yeah, I told you it can be with your friend instead of your enemy. But you gotta see where you've invested your life force. So your soul says, can you heal it now? As soon as the bullshit comes, oh, I've got home. You can even measure how much do I got there? Because it's about the belief. I accepted, believe and gave my willpower. We wanna change that. Go ahead. And like going after my dreams and I hear the voices and like uh, the old tapes from childhood and that kind of thing. So, so that's one. Where was I going to go with this? The oh, if I put my energy on it, that's why I'm, I'm keeping it quiet. And I'm telling like close, close, close people like I'm getting I know I, I know I'm not going to live in this town. Like I, I'm getting ready to go. I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm going here, but I don't know. And exactly. and um. But it's the, shoot, I just had it, the breakup, the, um, oh, if I put my energy on to what I want, somebody comes in and snatches it away. Okay, that's your ego. That, that's the, no, that's one of the knowings. Yes. Spirit says, can heal that now. Ego says, I'll provide the proof. This is where she's got the energy. And then you can go and go on a scale from zero to 10. Holy shit. There's a lot of life force here because that belief is super, super strong. And I'm going to heal that out. And you're going to do your best to get it down to zero. Now, sometimes when they're more chronic than acute, you may have to do it several times just because you have the spider web that came from that particular root. Okay. Now see, people say, okay, well, we'll just go to the point of origin. So if you plant the seed and that's the point of origin, People think, okay, if you cut down just the tree and don't take the roots, it could grow back. If you go in and you're like, okay, well, I'm just gonna cut down far enough, but I really don't take the roots 
Okay. What happened is that this tree may be gone, but that roots went over and started another tree. You took care of this one, but you didn't even know this one was growing. So when you begin to work with yourself on a spiritual knowledge and spiritual nature, you're looking for new information so your brain don't have to go, oh my God, oh my God. okay? So you're bringing in new knowledge. You're starting to balance the left and right part of your brain, which allows you to go, hold on. This hurts like a mofo. I'm going to measure it. I can even go one step further and track it back to a very specific emotion and whittle that emotion down. Or I can look at how it's connected to a very specific um, uh, incident that's hell. Which then it's like, mind you, of a buckshot. <laughs> Everything shoots all over. And hell, you, you, and again, when you're in this position, do not go to heaven because you're just going to talk yourself out of your issue, which is overcoming, but that means you left the roots and you're not willing to face it, okay? But if you sit in the hell and you let your body and everything to do what you needed to do, you literally start to go to the roots, which will then start to kill off the other roots of the other trees, okay? So for you, because we ran out of time, but I appreciate you, L1D, because you know how to sever love first, because love was severed first, which means you're holding on and don't want to be pushed off to the abyss. Ah! No, you're holding on. I'm going to make sure this never happens to me again. I'm, ooh, ooh, no, you can't do it to me. I'm going to do it to you. And this is why you can't ever really have a relationship because you don't ever want to feel this sever ever again. That's true. Uh, also. And, and I'm going to say it's two months old. Okay, go ahead. Awesome. What? Um. Thank you. Uh, the, 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 this <laughs> going, because I'm going to be creating a profile. What this is, uh, I'm going to be creating a profile. That's like my date. It's my mm -hmm. professional, but it is like dating to find this thing. Um, I wondered about that because people are like, this is dating. This is a relationship, yada, yada. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, Oh, well, there's a pitfall. There, oh my God, talking about epiphany, not only is it a person, but now it's a congregation. Now it's your vocation. Holy shit, you just hit up. Wow, I'm sorry, people, this is deep. You may not be aware of the fact that I've got an epiphany upon the epiphany that she just had. Man, right? thank you, spirit. Now it goes in the six S's that create successes if they're balanced. Yours is that you have to work with the safety. You do not feel safe. Now, when I asked when it came to stability, you're like, nope, I can create my own, fuck you. Um, you know, <laughs> alarm. Yeah, if I'm just dating, again. Yeah, your, your microphone went somewhere else. Talk about my ego okay. not wanting to hear. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, it made this fall, and it's a heavy one, but it hit the code, which then caused the mute button, so you can't even hear your own consciousness. Okay, you are breaking through spirit cells, L2S. You're okay. going to stop listening to that hidden story, which I just revealed. Yeah. But you just had a deep epiphany. You're going to hold R3S because you're like, ah, yeah, I don't trust any of this safety shit. Y'all lied to me when I came here. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Is field is like, yeah, I'm going back. <laughs> if I have to go oh, back to the way I came, <laughs> watch out, mom, I'm coming. <laughs> you're like, mm. <laughs> That's the way home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you dearly. Thank you. Love you. We need to do more of this and all of that. Okay. Yep. You, you have a good day, babe. All right. Bye. bye. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Oh, my God. Okay. Those of those that, that, that stayed in the room, um, are you still here? Um, you know, two minutes, any of that. Um, we go, before we go on, I got to check to make sure if anybody else is paid. Nope, we have two also, two pay it forwards um, that is up for grabs. But before we do that, um, I want a timestamp for um, Spirit says, don't miss out those people because they left. Um, I'm going to have you look at Laura Witt Chandler, C-H-A-N-D-L-E-R, Laura Witt. I'm going to give her a reading, and um, she's new. I'm going to give her a reading. And Spirit says, 
uh, fear. And there's nothingness, fear of the unknown. Gotcha. And then it says there's a habit of the fear of the unknown. I said, is it yours? It is, mm, it is no, but yes. No, it, you didn't start it. And yes, you have mimicked and copied mirror, the, the, the mimic mirror neurons, mirror neurons, watch somebody and you think that's the way it's supposed to be done. And now it's like, it doesn't work for me. And it feels like it's against me. It feels like it's a curse now. It feels ah, it created a repulsion. So what happens in the compatibility, you're supposed to be magnet, magnet ties this way, but you've created a repulsion to something that you're supposed to be balanced to. So it doesn't supposed to affect you. So there's a complete healing that's altogether different for that. And it's like, I have to hold on to, I have to hold on to this lofty energy uh, and say, and I would say that's part what you would want to heal. So you're holding on the loft of an, lofty energy and you know your identity about being timid. And so there's this dance between that. And they said, if you wrote that down on a piece of paper, what I just said, timid, lofty, aggress aggressive, then what you can do and the word contempt. You can take that, put that little piece of paper here on your thymus or on your belly button, either one, both, I don't care. Then you take and you end up doing a four breaths and there's a tapping method. It goes from the forehead to the back of the neck, lift your hand off, go again. And then you make sure you do two rounds between each of these breaths. So you go in, hold your breath. There's your second round, breathe it out, hold your breath. I lost count. And then you, then you pant. <laughs> you do two rounds of that, and then you breathe normal. And what will happen is that you can start to measure if your body can feel different. You may do several rounds. I would do several rounds because as I'm looking at the measuring, it doesn't look like it's uh, very high to be balanced. So I'm actually looking, because the way I measure those, it goes into the negatives. In this case, you're in negative two. So that means you can have um, physical symptoms with it, emotional, mental, or spiritual issues with it. And that's it, not necessary to have them. Okay, so when you start to balance these, then life will stop acting like you're allergic to it or it's allergic to you. You start to create a magnetic field. So it's, you start to balance out the magnetic nature of you. Um, uh, and Angie, Angie Driscoll. Well, that's how I remember her. Uh, what was her name again? Her last name. Okay, I lost it. La, 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 lost it. Give me a minute. Ooh, there's another person, but I didn't see him say they wanted to read. Where'd she go? I saw it. Spirit said, there she is. Oh, did I do Deborah, Debbie Trotter yet? Because if I haven't, then I'd like to do her as well. And I can't remember, I, I think she said she's new. If not, I'll do two minutes. There she is, Case, last name's Case. Angie, Angela Driscoll Case. So I'm going to, Spirit just shook me. I'm switched timelines, holy mother. My question is, did I just give Angie a reading or not? because I've just switched. I'm trying to hang on right now, people. I literally, um, okay, I gotta get into reading the board. Um, I've gotta get in here. No, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they says, find your way home. I'm like, I'm trying to find my way home right now. I can't get to the screen. Um, it's like, I forgot how to get to the screen. Oh, there's a delay, delay of energy. Read the cues, read the clues, delay of energy, the delay. Gotcha. Okay. So thank you very much, Miranda. Um, and Debbie. Okay. So we're going to do, ah, no, if anybody here wants a, um, we, we, what we have up for grabs, and if you're still here, we have it, um, two eight-minute uh, pay it forward readings, and we can play a game in just a moment. Let me finish up. I'm going to give Angie. Um, Angie, you're ready to awaken to a new part of yourself. Um, 
there is a part of you that you, 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 in order to handle something that occurred around six, those emotions created a chemical peptide dump that caused you to go into, oh my God, I don't know how to cope with it. So you kind of hid. Okay. And so then you created a new way to uh, deal with life, but that part always felt helpless. I, how come I couldn't change that moment? How come I couldn't change that moment? And to the point that it became very self-abuse to the, uh, which means um, you go to do something and you readjust. I don't even know if you're aware that you have readjusted. Um, they said, as you begin to wake up to the relationship with um, others, sometimes I don't know what the word, the, if you do it or the other people do it or however it is, but the word is haughtiness, go look that up because somehow that has to go connect with panic. And that panic is what your heart is saying it wants to heal. So I would say, take your left wrist, first position, push nice and deep and finger here, wrap around. And I want you to, if it's recalled anything, especially a very specific memory, just sit with it. If you can't measure it, that's fine. Just know how you know it's there and take it from there and then your body will begin to heart start healing itself. All right, so we will go up to um, Debbie. Okay, hold on. Something's not, <laughs> I can't get the right screen. That's okay. We will get there anyway. Uh, that's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. I, 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 um, I think my hair, I think it's too hot here. Ah! Okay. Um, do, 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 do. There we go. Oh, waiting for my screen to pop up waiting for my screen to pop up. Oh, I said I was going to read and skipped because I didn't know if she came back into the room. Okay, so um, with, with Debbie, here we go. So hopefully if anybody knows Debbie, you let her know. All right, Debbie, here we go. Discouraged. Work. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to what? I keep repeating the same pattern. This seems to be the same story. So uh, there's somehow you're giving your power away and you're readjusting something over and over and over and over. And you're like, I'm just so done doing this habit. Uh, I would need something else. Uh, can you give her something else to the inside of this habit? And they said, yes. Notice how self-conscious you feel vulnerable, naked. And so you have to put on um, and get defensive. And they said, before it never bothered you, but your heart has opened up a little bit further. This level of consciousness has allowed you to get more spiritual. And what's gonna happen is now you really get to notice when those twangs, <gasps> those twangs, <gasps> okay? I'm watching and there's an old helplessness, these chemical peptides of helplessness that um, you can feel it in others. So I don't know if you, you root for the underdog. And so now, or however this is, but I can feel you feel this helplessness, okay? But I feel like it's inside and you need to get it out. They said, I know what it's like to be disapproved of. And you're waking up to a, something you haven't seen before. And that is when a person is in their pains and aches, in their pains and their aches. Do you make yourself small so they can feel big? Do you make yourself small so they can feel safe? Where do you fit in? Because you have now created this energy flow so that you kind of attract a lot of this in and you've kind of lost you in the process. And I feel like there's like a very specific friend or this is how you call friendship. I think you're meant to say, I have to reevaluate my values about what friendship is, okay? Um, oops. Um, oh, thank you for showing the timestamp. Oh, Angie was here. Oh, did it make sense? Hope, hopefully you heal that and you, it makes sense. Excellent. All right, so Stacy, did you need a... Uh, can't remember, did I read you or not? Anyway, I'm going to get over to the one minutes. Now, what's going to happen is, is that while um, just, you know, again, we have two um, 
pay it forwards. Now I'm trying to figure out, do I go through the one minutes? Yes, I think they shouldn't have to wait. And then we can then play the, um, the pay it forwards. Yes. Who in the hell has impending doom? Or is an impending, the pending issue about, about the way that I want to do this? Yes, it feels like curses. You're making it sit on pins and needles. Can't you just, all right, I don't know who you are, but <laughs> do I get influenced by this? They go, no, just become aware that this is how sometimes people feel. And I said, okay, do you want me to what? And they said, just understand that the, there's these energies in that space. I said, okay. And they said, so go over to um, the one minutes. We're gonna start off with um, Miranda. All right, Miranda, you're learning to exert your power, but, and they're saying, um, let's see, CLS, sacrum, so the third sacrum, there feels like that your, your body's connected into this curse energy flow, and it is about, you got to readjust, and you're like, I'll be damned if I have to readjust. But Jen, the little girl says, yes, you are. The other part of you says, no, I won't. And they said, if you can bypass that, go to part of the root, which is timid. They want you to begin to notice that R2D is about feeling attacked. Someone that you didn't trust anyway, you kind of thought, well, maybe they wouldn't do that. And you kind of forgot that they already showed you their hand and they're going to do it again. Feeling unworthy. Okay, so there's a feeling unworthy. Um, so R2D, because you have a hidden panic that you're not even aware of, that's kicking in and controlling your thoughts. Okay. So, oops, my sign. We're going to go over to Kelly, Miss Kelly, 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 Kelly. All right. Something about the blaming, the blame game, the blame game is part of someone's um, natural rhythm of communication and you get caught in this flow. And then all of a sudden they'll push the button and you get caught in this flow. Oh, it feels like a male. And this is, this feels like this is what you're supposed to do with relationships. And you're like, I so don't want to do this, that it'll, you'll look like you attracted the great man, but then it ends up having a bitch slap. Ooh. Sorry to hear you do that. But they said you need to heal the incompatibility issue. And they said, uh, like in the repulsion, you have a negative one and it, and it somehow it affects the first part of your, so it's C4 and then it's hooked into um, T3 and T8. And that energy again is hooked into lumbar four and sacrum one. Whoa. So you need to heal, you need to heal that. Um, where do you want her to hold? Start off with L2D because it's about the exertion. So get just in the energy field. What does energy mean? How does it dance? And if you can begin to see how it dances, you kind of will tune out uh, to some degree the order that you have to obey and follow this. If you can see the, the energy of it, then you can begin to notice if um, what bar, part you're supposed to play because it ends up being that you have to play a certain role. If you can he, begin to heal the, the exertion of the energy, like how it comes in or how you have to put it out or how much power you have to lose to play the game because that's how you're supposed to communicate, you can start breaking that attraction factor. And so you can stop creating this, okay? We're going to go into for Nancy, Miss Nancy. Okay, there's a lot of criticism that people just don't like the way you live or the way you act, the way you breathe, the way you smell or way whatever. I just feel like I don't know if they really do it or I feel like this is a past memory. I feel like maybe this is a past memory, but somehow it's haunting it's haunting and I feel that it's haunting and the only way it can haunt is as if you're mulling it over in the construction zone which means in the upper right of our um, right eye is what's called an imagination field and so instead of just rehashing it 
it's now part of you imagine that it's always going to come out of people's heads meaning faces uh, body language gestures all of it they said this filter will be as if if you recorded it and you're like oh my god i so experienced it and i'm going to share this a little longer this is too good of a deal spirit says you got to speak it so let's say you got recorded like this and all of a sudden you're like oh my god i feel it i just don't feel it here we go and there's the criticism and then you watched it back and you're like whoa they didn't display that at all there's an eye opener or if you're taking a text and you're reading a text and you're like well i'll be a bitch have you ever seen those memes where it's like the letters are backwards or some of things missing and you know you got the beginning and the end and yet your brain can fill in the blanks or it can take a tone and say oh you sound like this and you're not aware of the fact you just made him sound like the person you hate because you the energy that came off but what if they didn't actually send that energy maybe it's their protection of how their memory was going off touched your memory and so you went into your reaction field Yes, people, this shit's real. And I can't remember if I gave you anything, but R3S. R3S, because your security is at play, Nancy. Lena, Miss Lena. All right, Miss Lena. To be, are you going to say that? Yes, to be or not to be? Um, ir irrelevant. They want you to look up this word irrelevant. And they want you to say, thank you, Spear, for showing me that I equal it to rejection and that when I do, I go into the um, personality or the mannerism of sour graping. So look that up. And without knowing that, it says the next part of the strategy is I have to give up my expectations of my life and so you can see how each of these are very important. And they want me to tell you, if you hold L2S, you will notice that it's kind of connected back to an indecision. Because around four years old, you couldn't make a decision because somebody um, you thought you could trust, couldn't trust, created it. So the chemical peptides are there. And so you have the strategy that came out from that age. So begin just by a little bit of L2S. And notice that you can't, that you, you're not self-regulating. Other people are forcing you to self-regulate. So I want you to look at that. Oh, did Stacy say she wanted one? I don't know. I could. Oh, Kelly was here. Yes. Oh, yes. Hold on. Yes. Nope. <laughs> I'll keep going. April, Miss April Lynn. Um, you can't, okay. I want you to define what is criticism and what is feedback. They said it's time to differentiate because when you take the enemy, and I'm just going to say this, take the enemy and they deliver the criticism, then it, that's easy to find that it's criticism. But there is a grain of truth somewhere in everything. And if you learn to listen to spirit, you can say, okay, I saw it here. I saw it here. Now, sometimes I've, I, who wherever and the reason the grain of truth is because if it's replicating and you keep hearing something similar oh you just can't handle the truth let's say that I, that's not true i didn't say that but that's an example and oops that says timer and so if that's the case then you need to go in and look and look and look and say shit if that's it so be it and if it is they said you're going to notice that you have resigned to believing I am the object. I do not have a voice. And they said you're going to wake up and hit another epiphany level. And when you do and you heal it out, you're going to begin to graduate that one. So I'd say definitely do that, sweetheart. Okay. Um, why is my screen not moving? Oh, yes. I will get to you, Stacy. Yes. Okay. Miss Amanda. All right, Miss Amanda. Come on. Um, they said you're too stubborn to for your own good. So this is where it's like when don't get, get confused between stubborn where you need to move out of your own way to have success 
or where how people use the word stubborn. You just don't do what I want you to do, stubborn. Get, you have to learn what stubborn is, separate them, and then heal out the two different stubborns. When they want you to uh, behave the way you they want you to, they said hold L1D. And then when you can't get out of your own way, then you kind of check out. And that is what your stubborn looks like. And you hold R3D. And they said, because you are so used as to karmically stepping up and feeling small. And they said that your two-year-old self has repeated this, pro this process and it sits in to the uh, readjustment of your tailbone. So basically your tailbone stops pumping just long enough. When you're supposed to breathe, it's supposed to pump and it just stopped long enough to where you check out. Okay, Crystal, Crystal with a K. Do, 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 do. Miss Crystal with a K, they said, as you begin to learn how to balance, they said, you need to begin to notice between adapting and becoming a new variant of yourself or adjusting. And if you're adjusting and readjusting, are you looking for gestures, and acceptance, approval? Because you have a, do you, she, because most people that you seem to attract in have a broadcast message. The energy basically yells at you that they are in charge of the compatibility and the relationship and that you can't trust yourself. You're supposed to trust me. Something to do with work, something to do with work. And when that happens, you get into a little cloudy thinking. They said, start doing some Wayne Cook and you're breaking out of your rested development of how you used to do things and you're ready to change a little bit because you're so used to going there and then being invalidated that you couldn't stop looking at the thing you're holding on to, which is being validated. And they said R3S because your safety is at play. Myth Autumn. Um, so Miss Autumn, here we go. Oh, I saw a question, brain chemistry. Oh, I didn't see that until now. Do you want me to pick one and then somebody will win one? Oh, this is what's going on. Okay, so I Spirit has chosen um, Crystal K for the free read. And then we'll have one up for grabs and it's going to be um, time stampers. Um, uh, Miranda, could you do me a favor? And um, I know you know the number. So take, and I'm going to say one through 30. Okay. And uh, once you, she sees it, she'll, she'll announce who the winner is. So be look out into the room one through 30, and you can begin to play. So the, the first one will be Crystal with a K. If you want it, I need you to come on. You don't have to show your face, just your voice. Okay, she said, yes, okay. So then the second one, it's up for grabs. Those please, one through 30, we already have a number. So just play while I look at um, Autumn, because well, I promised Autumn. And Autumn, it, it's something about friendship friendship friend oh um they want you to look at um the relationships because you're starting to begin to wake up you're kind of like looking over your shoulder and when somebody tells you they love to manipulate be aware of the fact that that's true and they'll do it to you too and those people now my my adrenal glands are like holy crap and they're making my energies of my spine um, uh, my will, um, because the, when the meridians are like in a full length or whatever, you can feel them tug. And I feel like my adrenals are hurting and it's like, holy shit. And it's pulling, it's pulling. And I feel like I want to deform myself. Holy crap. I can't focus. Um, that's enough. I don't need it. And they said they, you were taught that if they com comfort it in and saying, oh, you're just like one of us, you're not different, and they're lying to you, um, don't, don't take it that way. You're beautiful, you're you, that's all that matters. But some reason you have a belief that something's wrong with you, and it's like, so they, I feel like you, you attract liars. And so they'll take advantage of the, you to, for their benefit. Whoop, Gemma won. 
Okay, so and then if you were to so because you got a martyr card, and they said as soon as you start to say anything, then you're accusing them and they turn it on themselves. So you're hanging out with a gaslighter. They're trying to gaslight you into thinking you're crazy. Just so you know, just saying. Okay, we're gonna go up to uh, Teresa. Miss Teresa. All right, Miss Teresa. Diminished, diminished, diminished love. Um, there's a part of you that's focused on what diminished love look like, and there's something about action, action. So I feel like you're coming to a precipice. That's what you want. Um, I can feel this diminished love. And now I'm asking, is this like a lost? No, it's something that I do. So you have to diminish the love. So I feel like you're behind your heart, holding onto your cord and you're pulling your cord a little bit closer to you. And they said, you're starting to learn that you don't have to trust your own thinking and you don't have to trust your own ego. And you are learning to trust your, your spirit. And they said that you can start to let the alarm buttons that you installed out. And so they said, do some R3S and notice that the guilt tripping, because you must have heard something that me and Jen said, is that when guilt tri tripping comes up, you're like, holy crap, it's not that it's here to steal my, steal my energy. It's the ego's here to show me where I'm losing power. Yes. So they're saying that you can hold R3S and you can relearn how um, you as a child, I reject this, I reject this. They said it's time to do R3S so that you can learn how to self-regulate and you can start the maturity of your soul on all the four aspects. <clears throat> Mark, 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 you are next, next, next. Yes, Mark. And let's see. Can't figure it out. Now you get in the cycle of can't figure it out. You're five years old. And when you start doing your adulting thing, this will kick in because one of the things is, is you have a cue, a cue that you have to readjust, a cue that you have to readjust. And this cue looks like, um, well, they're saying that you'll start to feel vulnerable or you'll feel self-conscious. Define what self-conscious is, begin to notice how it seems to be the forefront, that it doesn't allow you to really get tapped into your abilities. And you're, what you're getting ready to do, Mark, is face your arrested development about helplessness. And then I want you to do some Wayne Cook. So when you can feel it, I want you to do some Wayne Cook because you're learning how to self-regulate in a different way. So you'll have to do L2S so that you don't have to flip sides of the brain. You can start to get them to cooperate. And then you also have to do R3S because what happens is that you go to a self-pity and there's a part of you that says no okay and then you're going to do l1s because you get fanatical or l1d 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 because you get fanatical okay um is there any more one minutes or two minutes uh before i take on the um oh spirit says pay attention girl all right pay attention oh someone paid vintage oh yes um let's see i just used my suit oh and don't want okay guys mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um so this is uh, this is where you discern i'm using discernment so give me a moment so that i can read this just for a second Gotcha. Okay, so you can come on and, and you can have your voice. Um, that way, when, what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you release some energies and I got to um, easier if I could see you, but if you could, uh, if you could just come on and in just uh, for my, my sake, whether it, you don't have to use a video, you, you know, um, you can keep your mic off if you want, but I need to know every now and then that what I'm asking you to do for your physical body so the energy can uh, zing, 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 then um, would you? Yes? No? Let me know. If not, I can do it like this and then you have to uh, do it at your own pace. So as soon as um, she lets me know, um, could, but then there's still that awe, um, emotion or um, voice. Yes, voice. Okay, excellent, excellent. All right, I have to find you. So I'm going to make sure that I can connect with you. And we're going to go here. Let's see. 
with yeah same person all right go here i'm going to give you the link dear here you go here you go all righty and then we'll go from there all right um what was i doing oh then after this okay was there any one minute no okay and then after this um we'll go into the the, the free ones and um crystal k uh crystal k <laughs> to your name for me crystal will be first and then uh, gemma will be second yes okay that's what we're gonna do my plan i'm sticking to it mm -hmm. spirit is an amazing teacher you can become an amazing healer an amazing teacher too once you learn how to tap into this energy field and we're getting audio right now and as soon as I click that, do you like the colors that Spirit just picked me for me today? It was like I had a whole different outfit. Nope, this is supposed to be successful. Oh, there you go. Can you hear me, hon? I can. Very pretty. Very pretty. wonderful. Oh, thank you, dear. <laughs> I like the colors. Uh, Spirit says I'm good with colors. And I said, yeah, I'll take that. Okay, so now I, we're going to be discreet. You can let anybody know anything you want. That's up to you. Um, but I'm going to start working with you. So you tell me the time it is right now in your house. 11.31 okay. p.m. So understand from 11 to 1, that is gallbladder. And you have a lot of circadian rhythms. It's the clock in your body. You got several, mm -hmm. several of them off. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to start to uh, check the energy of the clock and we're going to see if there's a, we do need to use a magnet and if you don't have a refrigerator magnet a hand will do I but I, uh, oh good one good you're going to have you're going to yeah, I love it okay so um let me just figure out which one do you want her to do first and they said um okay we'll do that one um okay so we're going to take the one that is um between 11 and 1 a.m. and that's gallbladder and you'll have to find this on top of the foot and let's see which one is the best one for that oh don't have it on that one but I have it on this one okay I gotta find it on my screen there it is okay can you see that okay so it is not on the side of the foot it's just following this uh, fourth toe up It'll be half between the bone and it's on top of the, not quite on top, but on the side of the foot. Just rub it's that me. whole area with a magnet first, you know, back and okay. forth on the both sides and then rub it. Got to do both feet. Both feet. All right. Yep. Because what I'm feeling is that the gauntlet energy doesn't want to move up. And yes, we have a control cycle issue, but I'm not sure if we can get to that yet. Okay. We need to first unlock everything. Okay. I don't um, have a gallbladder, but I know I still have a gallbladder meridian. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And we have to look at why it was taken out. And usually it will be our behaviors, not know it. Um, but there was some deep seated bitterness that yep. was towards you. And maybe you have some too, but it forced a readjustment to the point where you created energy uh, to be restricted in you, which caused the lack of gallbladder. Um, oh, wow. Okay. All right. You're getting on the second one. And <laughs> when you rub those, rub the tops of those feet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm rubbing oh. them now. Mm -hmm. Wow. I have got energy now finally moving and, and the part of our sides, like, cause that gallbladder goes up, it's opening here. And usually there's a cross point between, um, liver, spleen and gallbladder. And you just opened this one up. So I'm just going to do this on me, throw it up on the grid and you can, oh God. There now. Yeah. Okay, now you're gonna do the other part, which is your heart and it's right. So follow along right there. Right hand. You're gonna do both. So All you're right. gonna do the magnet first. All right. And then you're gonna rub it because we gotta get the coordination between the the circadian rhythms to talk because those two need to communicate and Ooh. apparently i'm going to be doing um hmm. 
Oh, wow. The energy is now finally going up to the neck, through yeah. the neck. Straighten me more, up. It's more jammed on this left side, right here. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you, uh, can I ask you that? Yeah. So if you've taken any type of medication or you take any type of um, uh, toxins, not knowing like certain foods, do you have issues right here where it hurts? No. No? Okay. No. That's interesting because I feel this very much tight. And well, I'm not sure if you're aware of that it is the way the blood is flowing. And, and how your uh, body is cleaning out and you can, you're very, I can feel like you're very sensitive to certain things when your liver's doing its thing, the blood's doing its thing, your heart's doing its thing. And I feel like, do you understand what I'm saying? Well, I, I picked up on this, you know, before it, uh, it got into normal symptom. So, okay. uh, but generally no. the thing I okay. have been experiencing is like, these extreme hot flashes and i'm like okay is it the food i'm liver. eating liver okay rage like, all right <laughs> well well between you see the thing is is that's the other part they want me to do is that now once you finish clearing those and rubbing those the other part of the clock that they they said that you really need to begin to look at happens to be the liver and the small intestine so the mm -hmm. liver is if, if you have any like heat issues and it's not a chemical process that it ends up being another process. Okay. And what happens is you'll heat up, especially between one and 3 a.m. or you may have issues between one and 3 p.m. Uh, you can be tired. And those two, this is where I'm looking at a control cycle issue. And your small intestine is what you, grabs usually the first thing that grabs the nutrients. I yeah. don't know if you're grabbing the nutrients properly. No, I am, I am not. I'm, okay. Yeah. All right. And I said, well, and again, it can just be the circadian rooms. This is where they're going first. They said your small intestine one is kind of like um, the, the magnetism is not there. So you have the electrical, but you don't have the magnetism. So we're going to balance the polarity on that one. So you're going to take a magnet again. We're going to go to the small intestine. As soon as I locate it, it is um, in the joint area. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's not here, but it's in the joint. So put that magnet there and do both sides and then rub that. Oh, I forgot to set the timer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I'll start it with five. Hmm. Hope I didn't cheat here. If anybody's been watching the time, make sure I didn't cheat. I can't check the time. <laughs> oh, no, no, somebody else can. Okay. Now, there you go. There you go. Ooh. Now, interesting enough, your liver's not frozen, but your, your small intestine was geared towards, and the emotion on that one says, I'm looking for, I'm looking for, and I can't find it. Um, <laughs> God. Does this make sense? Yeah. Okay. And all the energy is like geared towards that. And I'm looking further. And they said, they don't know where love is. Where did the hell did that go? Where did the hell did that go? Now I'm looking further. And they said that you're ready to open up this. So after you rub that point, Okay, we don't need to use a magnet on this one, but um, you are, um, how do you gonna put it? Maybe the bigger one to show it. Yeah, yeah, well, good. So what you're gonna do is it's, it's right next to the big fingernail, like, uh, like a grain of rice. It'd be like that small. It's very, very tiny. Um, so it's like that small, okay? But it's on your big toe. All right. It's on the inside. Okay, you're going to do both sides. So it'd be in the inside. So you can do both of them. You just need to rub them or tap them or, you know. Is it toward the top, Brenda? Toward the top edge? Yes, yes. Top. Like right, I have like a, my finger here. Yeah. Go okay. Ahead. So it's like the size of a grain of rice, but it's right during the corner. And it's on the inside of the big toe. Right. Ooh, now I just felt that one. Okay, so oh, do you want me to do any more circadian rhythm, huh? That do feel weird. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Your your liver. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the liver for for a moment here because it is um. Is that, uh, now what are, you're gonna huh? These are liver points. That one is a liver point. That is about the the, uh, the skeletal and muscle aspect of of that uh, oh, um, you. of your body. Yeah. And now what we're going to do is you're going to go to um, the web 
of your, you're going to start feeling around because I want you to test something. Yeah, that's so <laughs> when you start to feel right there, is it sore? I don't care either side. Is it sore? In the groove in the, in the yeah, bottom? Yeah, like in the web part, right in the middle. Uh, no, it was Good. sore. Now come here and uh -huh. I want you to test all of these. Chances are one mm -hmm. is going to flare up and make you cry. If it doesn't, I'll be surprised. Huh. Okay. These are called your gates. How are they doing? Can you feel? Are they normal? Can you find anything? If not, come together where the two bones come together from your big toe and your second and come and fall into that hole right there. Yeah, just a little tenderness on the left on the between the third and fourth, but okay. Okay, try. okay. That's that's good to know because your gallbladder and that comes from the element. Those two are trying to work together. I wanted to see if they communicated. So that side, the left side is not quite communicating. So they're not coupling as they're supposed to in the element. That's all, all I wanted you to do was to test it for me. So now that you rub that point, um, make sure you rub that point there. Yeah, the cup under the big toe, that yep. one. Uh, yep. the, the right side is tender, but not terribly painful. Mm. But it is. Actually, so, there's, there's swelling there. There's okay, swelling. now what I need you to understand with that is your liver is actually on the right side. But because we work with meridians, you're cut in half. I don't want yep. to say that, can't, 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 can't. but yeah, yeah, draw yeah. a line, you got two halves. Right. So the right one is that your liver is trying to tell you through your feet that it's, it has to work. It's working really hard. It's working really hard right now <laughs> to clean out whatever is in the blood. And so yep. I'm looking on a metaphysical part is you're running. You're running from something. And I said, what are you running from? And it's the hysterical point. And I said, is she holding on to it? No. Has people, okay, so I'm just gonna give you an example. I wanna ask you real quick. Has people um, pushed you and pushed you and pushed you to the point where you're like, fine, you want it, you just want them to shut up? Have you ever gotten hysterical? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, that is one of the things that's kind of uh, like, it's like a stun gun to certain parts. And according to this, it's like, it's in the liver. And then your, your body is saying, I need, to stop this energy pull game with these people. So who do you tug a war with? <laughs> yeah, that 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 was that was the basic ending of that relationship. But it's okay. like it's now still, we need to close yeah. that. We got to close it. Get your power back. You understand? Yeah, so that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold L two D when you get off of this, and you're gonna measure because you knew that every time that that energy pulled, you're like, I'm gonna have to behave like that. And you did yep. it at first because you love them. And now it's like, hell no. There's no choice now. Right, right. Right, okay. So then you're gonna do, uh, you had to go into no empathy in order to start trusting and loving yourself. Yeah, I had to go into no empathy to save their life too. Yeah. Really? But... Both, oh, okay. So now a closure. So once you've done L2D and you feel that, oh my God, that last part of, uh, ah, okay. You are then gonna go into L3D because you had to go into no empathy. Well, now you can't feel empathy because that's now became a marker. So your body needs to release these so that you can start to have some life again. Okay, that all, that's all I'm gonna give you for now because I want your body to recalibrate. I want you to heal and grow. And then, you know, hopefully you'll come on again or, you know, however you wanna do this. Um, but um, there's more we can do, but at least yeah. kind of look at the, go to my site and look under jet lag or sleep issues or whatever they call it and begin to notice, um, yeah. start paying attention to the circadian rhythms to see if you can kind of get into rhythm. Rub your gates, that's gonna help. Rub the gates to your heart. Yes, I like those. I've been checking the rhythms and it's, I can't find a pattern. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, if we know what it is, um, um, but if you can just kind of know like what's off, just start yeah. off with building that intuition and started correcting it. Okay. It's That's just it. that you're like, there is no way in hell I'm ever going to behave like that again. There's no, you've done a knot, which we have to un untie now. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was yeah definitely not me, but I felt that that's what I had to do. Yeah. yeah, you were getting sucked in. Yeah, you had to. It's something we don't really want to do, but we do it. And it's because there's wisdom that's going to come out of it. Yeah. And once you hold those points, 
get into those hells, you're going to eventually start to notice the wisdom afterwards. You'll, I feel because you've been doing this energy work, you're going to start getting epiphanies, you know, so go for it. <laughs> heal, heal, heal. <laughs> I shall, I shall, I shall. Thank you. All right. Thank you, dear. And we'll talk to you later. Okay. Thanks, Brenda. All right. Bye-bye. And it's always important to, you know, help is where you can. Yes, Autumn, you did miss yours. Uh, the timestamper has it. And um, we're going to move on to, um, did I miss anything there? Do, 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 do. No, we're good. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to jump over to get my timestamp. Um, Gemma, it, did you want to use voice and all that? Are we good to go? Where's, um, I need to find out. Miss Gemma. There she is. Okay, and I will see. We'll see what's going on there. Okay. Um, we'll see how this goes. And we will find out what she wants. Uh, Crystal, yours, um, you, you got, uh, you. did I miss you? Did, oh shit. No, no. Who did I just say? Oh, no, got to do crystal. Thank you, spirit. Sorry, Gemma. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gemma, Gemma. Oh. Crystal, I'll give you a few extra minutes. Is that okay? You did. That's a sign. Somehow, that's a sign. Okay. Crystal? That's a sign. And I want you to think about how that has happened, okay? No, it, that's part of what it is. You, somebody is always kicking you out. You're always this. I feel that second best energy. So begin to be aware that spirit wants you to So sit with this as I'm giving Gemma her reading. Um, how does that fit? Does it always happen to you? And what pops up? And then we'll get to you. Hi, Gemma. Hi, my love. How are you? I'm good. And how are you? I oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Good. Okay. So what can yeah. I help you with? Since you've got so, to uh, have this free um, pay it forward, yes. thank you, Spirit. Who, who's who's the pay it forward from? Can I ask? Okay, so from me, um, because oh, I, somebody somebody gifted me money, and yeah. I thought it was such a sweet thing that I thought Spirit said I can have a little, and Aww. I can pay thank it forward you, Brenda. Too. You're welcome. Oh wow, I won the I won. That's lovely. Yeah. Um, so my question is is I don't know if you saw my post on Facebook, but I've yes. got to defer my um, nursing. And I right. would really like to know why, in spirit's eyes, why that has happened. Because not only was there a roadblock with the aged care facility, I couldn't even change to the other one. So, and okay. even if I was well in a week, I couldn't start. So it was, it was roadblock take, after roadblock after hand. roadblock. Take your hand. Yes. And this is where you have been learning the difference between your spiritual mindset and your ego mindset. And now I need you to take your hand and put it over your heart. Mm -hmm. and you do not have to answer out loud. Thank you, spirit. spirit. And I want you to ask, do I really want to, it, 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 to be in, in that vocation? Okay. Do I really want that? Or is there a part of me that doesn't want it? Because I can feel it petrified, just so you know. I, want you to hear <laughs> I was your just heart. about to say, I'm scared shitless. <laughs> so yes. um, I didn't want it. I Good. did not want it. Now, and... guess what? Your spirit said, your wish is my command. It took your okay. tracking number, even though you were screaming out on a conscious level. Yeah. That's ego. Inside, you're going, oh, I don't know how to say no. I don't know how I, I get, how, I, you're forcing yourself to do something you don't want to do and you don't even know you're yeah. doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. And yeah. then so spirit's still saying, okay, but you, your, more, more of your energy is focused on, I don't want to do this because it's connected to the petrified. Yeah. So we, now we can just say, oh, I get it. Thank you, spirit, because. Yeah. Now you just say, okay, if I really don't want to do this and I can heal this out. Now, if you heal yes. this out, you can start to change the outside for your favor. Yes. But at the same yes. time, if you really are not meant to have that path, thank you spirit for what is my path. 
Yes. Okay. Yes. And then you have to get behind what's the real reason you had to get back into doing the thing that you're petrified to doing. And then you need to heal out that. Okay. And okay. you're showing the world, look, I'm doing what you're asking for safety reasons. Does yep. this make sense? Yep. Now, safety, security. security. Yeah. Yep. Now I want you to notice this whole thing about your life is actually a duplicate of when you were about seven years old. Oh, okay. Brenda. Yep. Okay. And you were very petrified right. about something. Does this make sense? Yes. <laughs> hold yeah. L1D right now. Just hold it. Just hold it. Just hold it. Because you're like, <sighs> there's like this great fear of judgment. There's like, because, because the duplicate, now let's, we're going to go forward. Mm, God, when you were about 25 and you, without knowing it, you, I feel like there was a strong bitchy ass woman. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. So can you kind of see the pattern? Uh -huh. Yes, okay. I can say that. All right. Yep. All right. I want you to feel, I want you to feel that what you were taught in the heart, you had to fight back, you had to fight back. Yep. Holy shit. Yeah. There you go. Ooh. Far out. Just breathe it through and remember your chest is not moving. So you have to kind of go. Yeah. Okay. Get it to move. Like my, my, for the first time ever, cause I've done a lot of healing with you. I'm pushing my shoulder blades together. Like I'm shoving my chest out. That's, and it's so tight. Right, That's runs what my body's I'm doing. Line, short, boys and beyond. I'm going to uncreate and destroy all that times a gazillion. Look at my truth. Look at that lie. Okay, there you go. I'm going to uncreate that 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 fear. I'm going to uncreate and destroy that belief. I'm going to take my power back to all that times a gazillion. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, online, shorts, boys and beyond. Okay, now just stay there. Keep holding. Now notice that you're hiding. Yep. 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 Feel the vulnerability. And as you do that, I'm going to say, thank you, spirit. We're going to help her zip up her central meridian and give her the strength. Her, your little self is like going, but I'm hysterical. They're pushing me. They're pushing me. They're pushing me. They're pushing me. And you're hanging on to the precipice. I'm never going to forget. I'm never going to forget. I'm going to forget. We're going to ask that little girl to let it go because she's safe. You've got her now. She's, but I've always had to give up my expectations. Okay, just listen to her voice. Listen to the hells. Listen to it. And I got to do it. My heart's going to get crushed. No, just listen to her. Tell her, feel the why. Because they judged me. They hurt me. I could feel it. I took it. And then yet, look, notice she said I took offense. Just keep breathing. Yeah. Holy shit. There we go. There's a phobia. There it is. There's the phobia. Yep. Right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. There is a location. Physically feel, look for the location, look for the location. Now it can be inside or outside, but feel the, the location. You sense uh -huh. it. With your, here it is. No, notice how big it is. Notice where uh -huh. it's at. And I uh -huh. want you to shrink it and then push it out. Is it good, bad, or indifferent? Or if you pull it in, is it good, bad, or indifferent? Sh shrinking it makes it feel good, bad, or indifferent? Choose. Oh, shrink it. It's right in the middle of my throat. Okay, shrink it down to it disappears. Gonna, ooh, there you go. And notice that, there you go. Now there's weight, there's weight to it. And now the weight has settled in your body as weight. Yep. And then oh, what it see. is, is notice the pauses when people talk and whoever these people are, they seem to have a lot of energy they threw at you with these pauses as if to say, you better do it my way. Can you feel the, oh, oh it yeah. feels like yeah. they put weight on you and now you've got to carry all this extra weight while you're trying to stand in your toes to breathe above the water. <laughs> Let's start to remove the weight. Let's start to remove, transcend and let it go. Mm. Now we're going to transist <laughs> this out. So that means that you're going to take that weight and you're going to transist it. And then as you start to transform it and you start to remove it, you're going to start feeling it like uh, 
energy like steam or filibits and you can feel them just kind of lift and then yeah. they don't have to go back to the person that's their responsibility you're going to put it in the treasure chest you you just it's up to them yeah but you're going to now call yourself back because what was put on you is now starting to move friends and let it go and you're going to bring back your power bring back your power bring back your power and again measure 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 that oh what number do you have now a seven i noticed that is in your tailbone yes i was just yeah yes i was gonna say to you yep yeah. Okay, I'm going to go a few extra minutes, people, because number one, spirit says so, and I do what the spirit says. You are like, I can't trust. Oh my God. And I want you to feel mm -hmm. how everything's like fusing together. Yeah. Yeah. And I want you to notice how your your muscles are very, I don't know if they're tight now, but they were then. Yes. It says I have to yes. readjust. I have to readjust. And we're going to start taking and asking the spirit to bring life into that. So I'm going to imagine a light, a beam of light. And I want you to feel how that beam of light is bringing life to that area. Mm. And if you do this, you're going to sit there and I want you to feel that vulnerability. I want you to see that number, stare at that number, stare at how you know, stare at that number, remove, transcend, let it go. And you're like, I want to run. I can't run. I want to run. I can't run. I want to run. I can't run. Remove, transcend, let it go. And pick up the tool and say, motherfucker, I can run. Now pick it up and run. Go, go, go. They can't catch you because they're getting smaller and they, they shrink you down and you stop to turn around and you go, you know what? I got the tools to stop you. The lumber <sighs> has the tools to say no to the bullet. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> yep, you're still shaking. You and let it go. Let her take her power back and say, you know what? You're not worth it. And then have her just be free. You'll know because you're going to look, see that number. What number you got now? Two. Keep looking at it because when it's gone completely, you'll see her. She'll jump up, she'll give you a kiss, and she'll want to go play. Who was the tattler? Who tattled? Who keeps tattling on you? Pardon? You have a Who tattler. Tattling? I don't. I... So, oh, that would, well, the only person that would really tell on me would be my sister. Right. And that is where all of a sudden you started to have spiritual issues of, of, of um, with emotion with your heart. And so you start to shut down because it's like, how can I share? How can I trust? How can I be if she's just going to do this to me? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Move, transcend, and let it go. Ooh, me. And you felt completely helpless because she seemed so big. So I'm going to make her small. And you've, now you come in as an adult to her little. And uh -huh. you're going to say... Um, I'm done behaving that way. I take back my power and just kind of like push her down with your finger. You're like, boop, you go sit in the corner. I'm going to tell mom on you. You know, you're just going to go boop. And then you're just going to walk, take your power back, take your power back, reclaim all of you. And any cursing, so here's important here, any cursings you may have done, you, I'm going to curse you. To, I need you to call back your cursings off of her because you do not need the loop. We're going to break that loop. Okay. Yep. As you start to feel the feeling, I want you to drop down to the next feeling, tell me the next feeling. Oh, just oh, um, it's it's bigger than anger, and it's remove rage. tension, let it there go, go. Then drop, drop again. <sighs> what number is that? I mean, not what, number, what color? What color is that? Or what oh. color? really, we're going to do that again. Okay, what's oh. the emotion? Drop. What's the emotion? <laughs> the the emotion is frustration. The color is rusty orange. Okay, now notice this for one thing. What's why is it valuable? What why is that important to keep it? What's the importance of keeping this? Because of the social standard of accepting that you have to put up. What's with the importance this, of that? Shits. What's the importance of that? There isn't. Okay, what's the importance of there isn't? To be free. Ah, what's the importance of being free? Peace. And what's the importance of peace? Sanity. What's the importance of sanity? Love. And what's the importance of love? Contentment. Now just sit with that. You had a number. What number is it now? I don't have a number anymore. All right. You can take your hand down and say, look to your little. What's she doing? Oh, oh she's doctor. completely wearing the Wonder Woman outfit and she's just boom boom booming everyone with it i love her voice tell her i love her voice yeah yeah that's, her, that you go play, so you're great now feel you feel that you have your energy back and you can breathe again 
And do this you is the really first time I can breathe your... in days? Good. Like, I've no, had a bacteria. Yeah. Go ahead. I'll tell. Yeah, I've had a bacterial infection for the past few days, and I've been on the ventilator and a humidifier, and just by this shift, I can breathe for the first time in days. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Now I want you to put your hand to your heart and go. Is it okay? Now you need to find out if you can give yourself permission. Is it okay for me to find a new vocation besides nursing? I'm still getting a no. Okay. And say, and you had that, say, is it okay for me to know the next thing that stops me from being me? That was a big yes and a very peaceful yes. Okay, so notice that you just have layers and judgments and things like this. Yeah. Your job is to hear it, write it down because ego can be your friend because you're like, I can't do this. Oh, thank you, ego. Can't do this. Scale from zero to 10. Oh, you will not be good enough. Oh, thank you, ego, for bringing that up. I'm not good enough. Well, who did I hear that from? Oh, my dad. Oh, well, is it true? Oh, scale from zero to 10. How much do I believe in that? I'm going to take the feeling off. Now okay. you are moving to the next stage of switching yeah. your personality so that you can become yeah. more authentic. Yep, that makes sense. Good job. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. See you later. All right, I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> yes, see right, you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. bye. There you go. Crystal, I think now I understand why you're supposed to be next, okay? It makes sense. It makes sense to me. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate you, um, everything that you're doing and you go and have a good night sleep and we'll talk to you soon. I'm going to get over and miss Crystal with the K and if I can get to the, well, that ain't right. Right, skirt, yes, there we go. Good job. Uh, yeah, yeah, you have to treat yourself nice and you have to give yourself compliments every night and then. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to see if Crystal will do the same thing. And let's see what Spirit has to say for her. Okay, anybody in the room that's left that wants a, a one minute if you're here that I've missed or if you're, you know, while I'm waiting, anything, anybody, anybody? Oh, well, here she is. We'll see how this goes. Uh, thank you, Spirit, for everything. And we will get the volume up as soon as we can. There we go. Chilly. Hey, Brenda. How you doing, dear? <laughs> I think. Hey, good morning. Uh, does it make sense of why you had to actually go second? Yes. For several reasons. So, did you take that moment and go inside of having to be skipped? overlooked yeah yes absolutely okay somehow that has to play with what's going on with your physical body right now did you get accused at any point accused no <clears throat> did you accuse anyone no interesting enough they said you're holding on to being accused being accused. Now the actions is that there was a great amount of anxiety because there's an impending doom and there's something to do with stubborn. I'm asking what age did you were holding on to this um, accused and you were four years old and it hurt because the person that accused you of something that wasn't true made your happiness go away. And after that, you couldn't help but to notice how lofty they were in, um, in the relationship balance. So it was like mm -hmm. you had, and so again, a four-year-old could be as simply as your mama saying to you, you better behave. You know what I mean? Right. But there was a broadcast message that that people put out that see you seem to attract in that had that carry disdainfulness energy. Um, it's the way they cope and handle the deal with life and um Feeling that someone or something is unworthy or uh, of one's beneath one's consideration, um, the you know just can't show respect. Okay? okay, so if a person, if your friends or family just don't know how to show any respect, and they just carry that, you know, you're not even worth my time. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. does any of that sound familiar? No, no. not right now. <laughs> Correct, sure. because her mind is her brain and, and we want a healthy brain. 
The reason they're having me do this beforehand is they want you to begin to listen to how you know that you know, but you can't access. You just know that you're awkward. We're gonna go into the very simple thing of helping your brain to become balanced. And they want me to do it in a couple ways. Okay, no, no, yes. We want to go into, oh, we're gonna, intention is second chakra. And it has to do with how you're forced to readjust. And then you had to build your false realities around um, living with this person. And the way they behave, the way they talk, you kind of just kind of said, I can't do it anymore. And you shut down emotionally around them. Does this make sense? Yes. Okay. With that, it's been hell on wheels for, so it's like a dark night of the soul. And you've learned to sour grape to soothe yourself because mm -hmm. it's kind of like what you've heard and seen. And, but we're going to talk to that fractured part. So there's a fractured part that says, my nerves. And I said, okay. And they said that the oscillation energy, now the oscillation energy can be the frequencies that are outside of you or the vibrational. Well, we're looking at the vibrational rate of the oscillation. And they said that you seem to draw people that manipulate. Mm -hmm. Now I'm holding my breath so intently that I feel like across my chest, it feels like there's a device. Mm-hmm. And the only way that you could self-soothe was that you can't let them see that you're crying or upset. Does that make sense? You can't really show it? Um, I probably, it's, it's hard for me to show emotion okay. because of Zoloft. I'm on Zoloft and I've been uh, on gotcha. it for gotcha. plus years. So I have to like try to squeeze a tear out. <laughs> All right. So how many years is that? way too long 12 years all right remove transcend and let it go spirit we're going to take it from another higher level well, as we do we're going to notice that you're like i had to take it because i don't want my heart crushed so what you're going to do is you're going to begin to work on the brain very good as we do that we look at we just running from so we're looking at how the little girl is running and as she's very hysterical because she can't make them stop they're going to hurt her She's really is screaming. I just can't make them stop. I can't make them stop. They're just, you know, so you've learned to take the blame. You've learned to change. You've changed who you are. You became a knot. One, wow, God. Now all of a sudden I can feel how when they gave you like disgust. Oh God, that really got to you. Now it's funny because it's, it, that's your, your cue to become very small and insignificant. And injustice is supposed to roll. Now I said, where do you want her to heal? And they said, just a second. It comes back to that irrelevant thing. And if they, you're ready, you're going to notice how you feel right now. You had said something to me, which I'm not going to say unless you want it, but it's, it's something you okay. said to me. Okay. So, or you can repeat it out loud. The reason that you, you're like, help me because something is off. Correct? Yes, absolutely. And and I, I, don't know know it's, uh, I just... Uh, Today, especially, I was just real snippy and mean, like truly mean to my my three year old little boy who um stay at home mom. And I, I mean, I've just been, I, I don't know how to describe it. Just I, I do. And one of the things is, is that you have been. Have you seen this before? You've seen this before. Yes. When you're yes. little, and they said that you said I am not going to be that. And what happens is it's a form of a loathe. It's a particular part of an energy where you're like, can't do it anymore. And the energy of love sometimes and the energy of, of his, his space mm -hmm. hit that nerve. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I said, how do you want her to work with this? And they said, you need to feel where you've been hiding. And, and it's said, funny because you, you say where I've been hiding, but mm -hmm. I don't feel like I have, I, I almost have that feeling where I want to go hide, but I can't. And I don't. Very good. Did you hear how you know it? Because you're like, I, I fear being bold. Mm -hmm. but I'm hiding from being completely bold. I'm, I have to do because what they tell me and I have to act this way. And there's a part of me that has done this but it's hard for me to take all of me with me because I have that mm -hmm. knot. Does this make mm -hmm. sense? Yes. Okay. So you have a lot of, uh, a lot of, is that what you want? Yeah. Creative insecurity. 
And when they're pointing this out, they said, notice that it, you can't be confident. This is all about that knot that you've got going on. Mm -hmm. So you, so I, I'm just going to ask, was your mother a, a good example of what a mother is or isn't for you? It was so split in half because she was a drug addict. So some days, absolutely not. And other days she was, you know, very loving, good mother. Okay. So I think that the points when she would treat you unfairly or um, kind of uh, narcissistically or however it was, it hurt. Yes. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So that's the, what, just the final point. We're not blaming her. We're just saying that you, you, you knew you needed that experience and there's that pain of that child. Mm -hmm. And that is where all of a sudden we need to go. So she had a tendency to sometimes blame you. Yeah. Uh, being the oldest sibling. Yeah, absolutely. Cause I was the okay. one who, you know, I'd, I'd be the one to run my mouth to the rest of the family and, you know, paddle you tail, I guess you can say. Yep, there you go. So what you need to do, we're going to do left side only, and you are going to do, I'm used to going quick here, um, left side, look underneath that um, fourth, or yeah, fourth toe goes straight up to just underneath the ankle bone. Mm -hmm. Zip right up. Got there. it. Okay, left side only, I want you to rub that like 20 times really deep, really fast, and notice how self-conscious you have to be, constantly self-conscious, vulnerable, aware, oh, P's and Q's, yeah, watch this, watch this, okay, very mm -hmm. good, now you're going to go over to the left side still, and you're going to go to the kidney, which is behind the big toe, on the inside part of the leg, behind the ankle bone. Behind the ankle bone, got yep. it. Okay, rub that about good 20 times, nice, deep and fast and notice that it takes my attention it takes my attention it takes my attention and it was getting very worn out how it takes your attention as a kid very good that takes care of that that's gone to at least a four you want me to keep no nope, go over now we're going to look at the, the emotions of the chemical dump that forces you to take action so we're going to the right side of the body now and that same um on the right side kidney that same point we're just doing rub that one this is where you're not supposed to have any empathy. You're not supposed to have any empathy. Just stand up and do your thing. And, oh, did I take that away from you? You're not supposed to cry about it. Very good, very good. You're also going to go on the right side and you are going to go to the liver, that point right there. Come these two together, rub right there. And just need a magnet. No, just rub that real quick. Yeah, it's sensitive. Check that out. It started to balance the brain already. I can feel it. Now you can start feeling when you have to readjust. Ah, okay. They said, notice that there's a part of you that it's connected to, I have to give up expectations. Okay. I have to give up expectations to take care of my son. And that's not the problem. The problem is that when your little self says, I have had to watch mimic mirror neurons mm -hmm. and act and feel and be, and you know, the feelings of them, that I'm supposed to sour grapes. Oh my God, I just sat down. Oh, you doing that again? You understand what mm -hmm. I'm talking about? Okay. Yes. You, it's a mirror neuron thing. You don't even know sometimes that you're doing it. They says the more you become aware, thank you spirit with grace and ease, when you become aware, all of a sudden you can, <gasps> even if it's after the track, you can do this. You're going to hold R3S because you're guilt tripping. You're going into a different state. You're going into, without knowing it, you're guilt tripping. And you're, you're like, that was the one thing you said as a kid, I am not doing that. But mm -hmm. you didn't know you're doing that because your buttons are going to push. It's like, someday you're going to learn, girl, why I act this way. Sorry. But you're going to, she, you know, understand in a different way of a different mindset, but you don't have to be that person. And then you're going to end up doing um, L1S because it's about have to give up expectations. Okay, so you have these couple things that are going on and you're starting to break the, um, what do you want to call it? You're, you're learning to break the old personality because you're trying to have a new life, a new healthy reality, but you can't make it with the old personality. So in order to make it, you have to have a new personality by dismantling the old one. Does this make sense? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So once you start to do those, they're saying that you have to really become aware of your behavior, catch it, hold those spots, heal it out. And begin to notice working with spirit that, oh shit, I'm feeling small so they can feel better. 
not, and, and, and you're doing it with your son too. Mm -hmm. but you're doing it with, you're creating the strategy, the situation, because you keep replicating that particular experience that you didn't know how to close. Mm -hmm. okay? When you start to feel small, it's L3D and that you're an object because this is how we started it off. You became overlooked, remember? Mm -hmm. And you have to make yourself feel small and make them feel better because you had to take a role on. It's going to be L3D. And now that you're getting older, you're like, you're dreading these particular personality and behavior that's coming out. And you're like, but this is not who I want to be. And I agree. Right. I know you don't want to be that. Right, right. Okay. So no shame. That's the whole point. You got you there. Got to get you out. Right. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much for waiting. And, and now we understand why I had given you a few extra minutes anyway. And I hope you get this. Rewatch it. Listen. How does your brain feel now? I feel more calm, for sure. I'm watching your shoulder, shoulder blade on the right actually begin. You can kind of almost tell when it's going to kick in, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. With that, I want you to say... Is it true? Is it true I have to give up my expectations? Or can I show up a different way? So with me, I ended up healing out a big chunk of that. And all of a sudden it was like, I didn't see it as a dread that I put my stuff down. I can just pick it up anytime I want and I can learn how to write myself in my own story. Right. But I found that it was important that they put them first just because they were kids. And with my family, right. they had to learn to wait their turn and I would get to them. And it wasn't a game. And then everybody got my attention, including myself. But it is in that sour graping. It is in the, oh my God, you know, <clears throat> heal that out. So when people need me, I can be there. Now, don't be too needy. Don't be too available, I should say, to that. Because then you can create what's called, like in an animal, I have this beautiful animals. But like, if I take this bird and I give it too much attention, it's going to start to die if I don't give it an ounce of attention. So I'm right. now causing problems. So right. I want them to have their independence. Right. Absolutely. For sure. All right. Great. All right. I feel Thank like I missed so a point. I, I, I just want to make sure that I feel like they're telling me I missed a point. I want you to do make sure you L have add L2S because it's about I must live their way to have life. I mean, it's a very much strong statement your little one said. So make sure you add that at some point. You'll L2S. know. Got it. Okay. Got it. Great. Thank you All so right. very much, Brenda. I appreciate you welcome. very much. Uh, thank you, dear. Go heal and then we can start helping to heal the world together. Okay. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye, dear. Bye. And that's very important we all do this. And I think, oh, did I just lose my host screen? Whew. No, I'm here. Shrink down to a postage stamp. I thought, no, I hung up. Okay, Crystal Allen. Um, I think, yes, you had asked me for a reading on my other page and I didn't see that. So you're here now. All right, Miss Crystal Allen, here you go, sweetheart. Crystal, Crystal. Oh, so this impending energy is not as bad as it usually is. And you're more up uh, beat about st stuff. So this is like a report. And you're starting to feel that you do have more worth, but you don't know what to do with jealousy. You don't know what to do with it. I don't know if you can see it or you're any of these things. And they said, and when it comes, I have to be a martyr. Mm -mm. So you're going to learn the language that you would hear your exes say bullshit to you, guilt tripping and all this that caused you to be a martyr. And it's you don't have to be a martyr, give up yourself for other people. You're going to learn to cut, put that oxygen mask on. And what's going to happen is you're going to start having the ability to take care of that phobia. And they said they want you to notice that when you are ready, you can then take and... Um, hold R3S and then look to the upper left and start noticing the type of bullying. When a person would get jealous, they would act a certain way to get you to respond a certain way. And they said, as you're holding that and you are um, looking up into that direction, just sit with the hells of it, begin to witness it and measure it, okay? You're welcome. Oh, you are so welcome, Crystal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm looking forward to healing this shit. So am I. 
because everybody needs to grow and be loved. You are beautiful spiritual souls. Crystal Allen says, thank you, Brenda, so much. You're welcome. You got to remember you have a voice. And when you start to really heal those parts of yourself, you, your voice will matter. Um, I never thought I had a voice, all this other stuff. And then when I started healing myself, spirit says, somebody needs to hear this. Oh, did you know what God did for me today? And then all of a sudden they're like, you mean that's possible? And, you know, I never shoved it down people's throats. This is what I'm doing. And people would want me in that space. Some people wouldn't want me in that space. And I just started to maneuver my life in a very healthy manner. Boundaries where it needs to go in a very healthy, it wasn't forced. Um, I get to make the choice about moving forward. And when my voice and spirit said, teach, boy, they would just use my stories. And I tell you, there is no shame. There's no guilt. There's, I have to express this. I have to have, see where I was, see where I am. And I and see where we're all going. Okay. So <clears throat> hold on. I seen something I got to take care of. Um, you, your voice does matter. Like when you start to take the classes and other things, I may ask you to, um, you know, paraphrase so that your body can heal it and hold it and grow. I may ask you to say you take your voice and use it. And, and you then all of a sudden you didn't know it mattered, but the next person needed to hear that. And somehow it definitely would go in this direction. Um, Yes. Okay. I will talk to her about that. Um, you guys are great. And I, I hope I didn't miss anybody in the room. Thank you, time stampers. Um, thank you very much, all of you, for participating in today's show. And um, guarantee I, I am getting there. It just takes a lot to write out an academy by yourself. <laughs> And thank God that there, there's other people that can come in and do the spell checking. <laughs> well, I'm learning also how to do it myself so that I can grow out of that arrested development I had. So I'm skill building as well. So I, I do my best to walk my talk. And, and so walk sacred and talk sacred. So the more you stick with me, more you, more you will begin to learn how to resolve, to evolve, how to heal instead of deal and how to say, oh, I can heal that. And when in doubt, you can say, oh God, I'm doubting, grab a tool and immediately have your turnaround times. You heal that out. You, you get your turnaround times and you start to get your happy back. And if you keep sticking with me even further, you'll understand energetically how to communicate with the innate and manipulate certain parts of your body that can help your brain become healthier and stronger. So a happy brain makes a happier life. And that is what we wanna do is help you bring you to that. So why? So that you can what? Stay blessed.